the cuckoo market day. The sacred day of the month when the moon is full. I hereby present all Ezira women and I am praying that the blessings of this full moon will follow them from now until the appearance of another full moon. I banish untimely death and still birth in the lives of Ezira women. If any Ezira woman must shed tears, it will be tears of joy. I banish sorrow and agony. It shall be well with them on Eke. It shall be well with them on Orie. It shall be well with them on Afo. And it shall be well with them on Ongwa. He Respected women of our land. I mean, what is the meaning of this? Uh, Chief Obidike, our heart is boiling. So we are not here to greet you. Yes. Well, I can readily see that you are angry. But I'm asking, what is the reason for the anger? Why are you angry? A great injustice is about to be meted on the women of our land. And we will not let that happen. Well, I am not aware of any injustice that has been planned to be unleashed on the women of my kingdom. It is not planned. Rather, it is an act of carelessness and disrespect on the women of this land. And we will not take it. Seriously, I am lost. Can you people please tell me exactly what you have come to present to me? A strange woman is about to be made queen of Ezira kingdom. And it is against our tradition. Exactly. And that's because there's a sacred role for the queen to perform on behalf of the female folks of this great kingdom on every Ekeoku market day. Onimaru. I think I understand where you people are coming from. I do understand it now. So why have you decided to look the other way? Why are you pretending as if you do not know what is happening? Can you tell me what is it that is happening? I will tell you. Chukuka is about to ascend the throne with a strange woman. And that is against the traditions of our land. A woman who doesn't understand the customs and traditions of our land. Chief Obidike, if the men already sanction this, we the women will not let this happen. Yes, yes. 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 And that is why the kingdom will have to look elsewhere when choosing a king for Ezira kingdom. Yes. Since Chukuka has already fallen short due to his marriage to a strange woman. Hi. Well, uh, I, I understand you perfectly, but I need you to understand that there is always a way that all this Chief kind of... Obidike. Sorry to cut you short, Chief Obidike, but there is no other way yes. at yes. all. Yes. And even if there is another way, Chukuka must relinquish his position as the chosen king of a Zira kingdom. Yes. 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 Have I spoken your mind? Yes. yes. Have I spoken your mind? Yes. Iwe iwe. Iwe 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 iwe iwe. My gate is always open and that is why they can come in anytime they like.
I've already whispered into the ears of the men that are men. The gods of this land have revealed the one who is going to be crowned as the new king of Israel kingdom. Socially, politically, administratively, one who is going to be the head of this land. So, men of Israel should be busy planning such coronation. Exactly what we are supposed to be doing with Ezra Alonso. But unfortunately, there is a problem. Any problem that the gods of this land did not reveal to me should not disturb the minds of the men of Ezra kingdom. However, for the purpose of clarity, I grant an opportunity of presenting such a problem. Okay, as I say, you whispered the name of this person, chosen by the gods, to the ears of men who are men. I can tell you here and now that some of them are women. How do you mean? One of them must have whispered that same thing you said into the ears of the woman. How, how can that be possible? How can it be possible? Men who are men cannot and will never tell to the women that which they should not hear. As I said, the women have heard it and they are kicking against it. That is why I urgently summoned all the people that are directly involved. For you to run this test again and the name this person who the girls have chosen here and now for us to know. Because kingship in Asia Kingdom is a serious business and we cannot afford to do anything that will cripple our land. Hey, I gather that Chifo BDK gather the young men from the families of kingmakers for the chief priest to run the selection again. Okay. Is that true? <laughs> My dear, the thing is, it's true, but uh, the thing is this. What if the gods did not choose any of the young men selected by the elders or presented before them by the elders? They must choose from one of them. All the young men are from the families of king makers. No doubt, but you never can tell why it took such a long time for the gods to finally speak. What if the gods want someone outside those families? That cannot be possible. The chief priest told us that the gods have forgiven our people for the sins our forefathers committed long time ago that has kept our people from not having a king. Yes. We are saying the same thing, Nina. Mm -hmm. What if... What if the gods, they want a neutral person to become the king of Azira Kingdom? Ijeunwa, your what if is becoming too much. What oh if, what name. if, what if... A neutral person cannot emerge as the king. All the young men that the chief priest selected are from the families of king makers. Where would the neutral person come from, Ijeunwa? Well, whatever the case may be, I just pray they choose Ojalibe. <laughs> How do you know my choice? Yeah. He's a nice man and you make a good king for our people. Certainly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. I have a meeting with Charles Okam and Ogechi. Oh. Ogechi will be waiting for me at Okuda Rajoshua, so I have to catch up with him. Okay. Hmm? All right, go well. Uh, do well to see me when you return, please. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Eh? Sure. Thank you, eh? Yeah. Yeah, one one on the baby, because it's it. Yeah, one one on the baby, 
Will it be right for me to say that you are resisting the gods of Ezra Kingdom? Ezalusi, I will not be here if I am one of those men resisting the gods of Ezra Kingdom. Well, the reason we are having that resistance is because you have not fully accepted it from your heart. I do not know where this resistance is coming from, Is Alusi. It has been communicated to me that I have been chosen. And I say here and now that I am ready for the job. And on that note of acceptance before the gods of our land, and on the note of acceptance that he is prepared to do the job, Before the gods of Israel land, before our great ancestors, I declare you the chosen of the gods. Men of Israel kingdom, go and get prepared for the coronation of our incoming king. This is the wand of Anunwebe. Because say je jemba. O si nyinu ngunyonike. This is the ancient and noble symbol, authority. That ratifies your selection today. Keep it with you always. Na ba bu do 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 na ba
Yame. Tuto ndabido. What sort of dream is this? Congratulations, my brother. Thank you very much, Adelibe. Thank you. Congrats. I'm so Thank happy you. for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Yes. Won't you say congratulations to our own uh, Chukwoka? I won't do that. Why? Are you blind? Can't you see that the selection process was tampered with? How? Well, I don't have time for that question and answer. With time, you will know who the real king truly is. You think I don't know what you're up to? We shall see. What's his problem? I, I, I don't know. Maybe he's not happy because he's not the one selected. But we all cannot be king all at once. What is his problem? Why would he say that the selection process was tampered with? Did I pay to be the chosen one? Let, let us not bother about him. In fact, do not worry about Abangwe. But why is Abangwe always like this? For all young men, we're supposed to support each other, yes. right? Yes, yes. But don't worry about him, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Man, congratulations once again. One dollar. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. Good people with your kind of heart are the kind of people that we want in the new East era. And I assure you that if indeed I become king, you shall become very relevant. I trust you. Huh? <laughs> I trust you. Darling, thank you very much. Thank you. I am not comfortable with the selection process. How do you mean? Selecting Chukuka was a very big error. Are you saying that the gods made a mistake in the assurance of Chukuka? I am not saying that the gods make mistakes. But the choice is wrong. Can't you see that Chukuka's wife is ineligible to perform the queenly sacred duty? Should she become the next queen of Ezra Kingdom? Well, that is what we know as men of Ezra Kingdom that the queen must perform her sacred duty of praying for the women of this kingdom every Ekeukumake day. But who knows what the gods are planning? Are you actually sure that the gods are involved in this? Because the chief priest that we all know yes. can say the gods says this, the gods says that, when the gods have said nothing. Wait a minute. Are you questioning the chief priest or you are doubting him? I am not questioning the chief priest. I am only trying to open your eyes so that we can raise issues. Raise which issues? You cannot tell me you are opening my eyes when you know that I am fully awake. Please, don't get me involved in this. If you are truly awake, like you said, then you should know what I'm talking about. We are not making any point at all. Because the chief priest has been in the service of this kingdom he has been interfacing between the gods and men of this kingdom for almost three decades now without making a mistake. So why are you suddenly questioning him? Please, count me out. I'm not involved in this. I'm not involved. Hey, baby. <laughs> I, I have good news. I, I, I can't contain myself. I, Tell me, how did you do? Uh, I'm going to be the next king of Ezra Kingdom. That's a lie. Of course you know I can do better than that. I'm not lying to you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying to that you. That means right now I am speaking with the chosen king. Yes you are and I am talking. Queen designate. Oh my god, I uh, love the way you just said that. Feels good, huh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're getting used to being a queen already. Uh? Exactly. You know, if my husband is the king, automatically I am queen. Look at you. Look oh! at you. 
Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Look this, at you. This calls for celebration. Yes, baby. We will celebrate, but not, not just yet. When I return in the evening, I, I have a few people waiting for me at the office. I need to attend to them. But I just couldn't contain my joy. I had to come break the good news. Okay. okay. Okay, but you can at least eat. Yes, baby. I'll eat when I return. I hope that when you become queen, you have you have my time. Take care of me and talk about my appetite. I eh? hope you won't be too carried away with running the affairs of Ezra Kingdom. Amen. Yes, baby. I'll be here for you. Plus, I came not just to break this good news, but to see your face. My lovely wife, I have missed you. See me. God, I love this woman. Come here. <laughs> I love you right back. And you know I can do this all day if you don't let me. <laughs> so let me just go and um, I'll be back. Uh, make a fun. Show it. They didn't select you, right? And I'm wondering why they did not choose me. So who did they choose? Chukuka. Hi. It happened finally. And from the way things have unfolded, I am suspecting serious conspiracy. And that is exactly what the women have been saying, but nobody seems to be listening to. Now I am going to show them that I'm an Ezra man. Not just an Ezra man, but an Ezra man who has spent all his life in this community. What nonsense. It is my right. It is. It is. Oh, please calm down. Okay? You have to come and eat something. Okoma, calm down. Let me go set the table. Okay? And on that note of acceptance before the gods of our land, and on the note of acceptance that he is prepared to do the job, before the gods of Israel land, before our great ancestors, I declare you the chosen of the gods. Men of Ezra Kingdom, go and get prepared for the coronation of our incoming king. Can we, can we possibly start planning coronation when the women have refused to accept the one selected by the gods?
the women do not participate in the process of selection of kings. But there is no king who can rule without the woman. Does it mean the gods never approved Shukuka going to marry a strange woman? Or possibly, is it that they want us to go back to the days of Okukundi Shia? This is not happening. I have already positioned myself as the next queen of Ezira Kingdom and nothing is going to change that. But why would the gods choose a man whose wife is not from Ezira Kingdom as the next king, knowing very well that the same woman will be the next queen of the land? <laughs> It has not happened before and will not start in our time. The right man must ascend the throne and my husband is that man. I have posted about this and I will not allow royalty slip from my fingers. If it means fighting for it, then we are going to fight to finish. Yes, I heard your husband was among the young selected men to stand the chance to be the next king of our kingdom. Ah. Is Iraq kingdom? <laughs> My darling, you heard right. Ah. Yes, you know. My husband is royalty from birth. Mm -hmm. He was born into the family of kingmakers. <laughs> really? Yes. That means you stand the chance of becoming the next queen of our land. Exactly. Hi. Ogechi, Ogechi, you see why I like you so much. I'm a mean, look at me now. Look at me. I am Chazoka. The great, mm -hmm. the one molded in the caliber of queens from birth. Mm -hmm. And my husband, he stands taller than other young men when it comes to qualification, exposure, and strength of character. <laughs> you are right. Mm -hmm. But you know, the gods do not look at those things. Why they want to choose a king? Okay, let me ask you. What exactly do the gods look at when they want to choose a king? Listen, my father told me that the gods look at the heart of a man and not his physical qualifications or attributes. You are still basking in the euphoria of what your father told you. My darling, this is 21st century and the gods have mingled with gods from other parts of the world. And that has changed their mindset when it comes to choosing a king. Blasphemy. It just blasphemed against our gods. And I advise you withdraw your words. My dear, I do not lie. I do not. Even the gods know that I do not lie. Ogechi, I can't stay here and watch her insult our gods. Hold on now. It has not gotten to that. We were having a nice discussion before the issue of kingship came up. Just hold on. So if I may ask you, since when did the gods become your father and your mother that you will get this upset? When? Ogechi, I'm leaving. Bye -bye. Let her go. Go if you want to go. All right. I will leave. Yes, I will leave. But I advise you, 
Be careful not to put your husband into trouble. Get out! Listen. Now, my darling, look at me very well in case you did not look at me well before. I am Chazokam, the Great. And I must become the queen of Ezira Kingdom. Come rain, come shine. So if you want to be in my train, you can sit down. But if you don't, follow her. Chiazoka. Eh? I went too far. Hm. I have to do everything to become the next queen of this land. I mean, I can't bear the shame if I do not become the next queen of this land. I can't. Hmm, that's the fool. The stranger positioning herself to be our queen. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> hey, manketa. Menwe. So you want to be queen as well? Huh? How do you mean? So why did you not stop your husband from appearing before the chief priest for the selection of the next king of Ezira kingdom? Why would I stop my husband? And who told you that my husband went there on his own? He was invited as a royal son from the families of kingmakers. Oh, please shut up! Make you go nonsense. Listen, you are nobody to come to my land and talk to me about the traditions of my land. And a stranger, you will remain. I don't know where this is coming from, but I'd rather not be a part of it. Oh, as you are leaving without my Listen, just bear it in mind that your husband does not stand a chance at all. He can never be the next king of Ezira kingdom. Mm -mm. The chief priest has already made a statement and the process for selection has been concluded. Mm. Who are you to counter the chief priest? Not your introduction. Kampia Giano, Omo Basu Munyodogu, Ada Ezira Kingdom, one, Ada Maka, and I am married to the son of the soil. So as an Ada who is married to the son of the soil, one need for that I have a huge say. Well, let me make you understand this. My husband is already king, and ten of your type put together. Cannot stop. Oh, one number dear dear. Who told you I want to stop your husband? Listen, your husband's marriage to you has already disqualified him from being the next king of this kingdom. <laughs> so you now know more than the chief priest. I'll leave that to your husband to educate you. Okay? But just have it in mind that he does not stand a chance. Whatever that means. If you say so, congratulations. Did you just say congratulations? Thank you! 
Thank you so much. You know what? When I become the queen, I am going to make you one of my maidens. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll also place you in charge of crayfish. I heard your people are so good with crayfish. Kisong is at me. Kisobasi. Yewu. From the depth of my heart. I wish you the best of luck. Get it for your uncle. Nepomania is so one comma. Nisimu is one called Jo. Nisigi. In Anoka. Did I want to get on? I want him bambi in a quarry. No, no, yeah. It's a no mukiga now. Wasalanya keep we we. Upon no boda. We will see. Whether you like a higher. Whether you know like a higher. Behold your queen. So whether you like her, whether you know like her, what is it, baby? Amen. Hey, yes, ma'am. I didn't want to disturb you about the dream, but my encounter with that woman made me understand that there is a connect. You know, I don't like to talk about that woman. I do not. What is it this time? What was the dream about? Okay, in the dream, I was being beaten up mercilessly. Hmm? I was begging, crying. She was there. Nobody wanted to listen to me. They didn't stop. Slow down. You were being beaten? Why? Did they tell you why they were attacking you? They were speaking your dialect, so I didn't understand what they were saying. But it was very clear that they were extremely angry with me. That's okay. Nothing will happen. Okay? Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Yes, baby. Please. I am afraid. You should not be afraid. Okay, just um, mind your business. Do not get in their way. Try as much as you can not to cross paths with them. And I will assure you that no one would raise a finger against you. I'm here. In them, you don't understand. These women were so upset with me. It was very clear that they wanted me out of this kingdom, out of their space. Don't you get what I'm saying? I get that it's a dream. That's all it would be. A dream. Don't let it bother you. I am bothered. That's why I am afraid. But you should not be afraid. I am here to protect you. In them, you are the love of my life. And no one would attack you, not while I am alive. I love you, baby. Okay? It's a dream. Whatever you saw would remain a dream. No one would raise a hand against you. That person would have to go through me first. Okay? I love you. Forever. Thank you for the assurance. <laughs> Forever. All right. Try it something. Come on, come on. Don't stop now. I like the way the spice. You just have a way of, you know, just making it perfect. Mm. Your fried chicken so well. Thank 
Yes. And I, I believe the time has come for us to get down to business. May I know why this visit? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chief Obidike. No. We have been thinking, after the gods made choice of their next king of this kingdom, things have not been in proper places. So that is why we have come to you to discuss. Things have not been in proper places. Yes. You see, Guru, that's a very strong thing to say. Could you be lenient enough and explain what you mean by that? Yes. From all indications, the chief priest made a mistake in his pronouncement. And we need to go back to him for proper clarification. I am not going to allow my house to be the place where this kind of thing is discussed. Uh, we must have to be careful the kind of things we say so that it will not appear as if we are challenging the chief priest. It will be the game. He is not telling us to challenge the chief priest. He only said we should go meet the chief priest so that we can get more clarifications. More clarifications on what? The chief priest spoke in a very clear language. And everything he said was very clear. It is not clear enough. That is why we have to go see the chief priest for further explanations. Well, uh, she and Bono, you have said your own. That's your opinion, and you are entitled to your opinion. But what I'm saying is that I, Chief Obidike, understood exactly what the chief priest said the time he spoke. And I'm not going to go back to him asking him to explain. But if you suggest, if you are suggesting now that uh, you want to go back and uh, ask him to speak again, I don't have a problem with that. You can go. Chief Obideke, do we not take it that uh, this is your own way of telling us that you will not go with us? It is going to be stupid of a man of my caliber to go back to a man asking the man to explain what the man has already explained. Does it make sense? I don't want this to cause problem amongst us. Iche, mm -hmm. we shall go back to the chief priest. Settle you. Should we be the game? Once again. Thank you very much. <laughs> on the road. On the road. On the road. On the road. <laughs> Where about that? Elders of Ezra Kingdom, I am trying so hard to understand why you people are not preparing to coronate the chosen of the gods. We are actually here to seek your clarification concerning the so-called chosen of the gods. And why did you refer to him as so-called chosen? That young man is indeed the chosen of the gods. We are not trying to challenge you, chief priest. But there are happiness in Ezira suggesting that the young man may not be the rightful person to the crowned king. Wise one. I am actually thinking he is wrongly chosen. The gods of this land cannot choose someone like him. And why do you say someone like him? Uh, wise one. We all know that the wife of any man who becomes the king automatically becomes the queen of the land. Hmm? To the best of our knowledge, as a matter of fact, as it is known in the well-kept history of Israel Kingdom, only the daughters of the land, full-blooded daughters of the land, have emerged queens. The gods if you must be told, may have decided to 
do otherwise this time. Makanona be bueri, we bueri or not, Manonovana and Mansuya. The only permanent thing in the universe is change. The gods may have decided otherwise this time around. Please. I think there's a mistake somewhere. We humbly suggest you reconsult the gods for proper clarification. Uh, there is no mistake anywhere. For the gods do not make mistakes. The gods spoke to me expressly on who will be the next king of Ezra kingdom. And that person is no other person than Chukuka, the son of Osemeka, the grandson of Okwabamili. Do all you can. If I do the needful, make all the necessary preparations towards the coronation of the new king of this land, I will personally be there to hand him over the offer, the ancient and noble symbol, the staff of the kings of Ezra. Wise one, can you please reconsult the gods? The gods have spoken, and they have spoken. Don't get yourself involved in the second reign, for you will catch cold. Listen. May the gods forbid that I, the chiefs of this land, will speak to you from the both sides of my mouth. The ghost spoke, and I spoke, and that settles it. Oh, my is the wreck and moon. No! What we feared most is about to happen. Our right is about to be taken away from us and given to a woman who does not belong to this land. We men of Ezira Kingdom, we are not going to allow anyone take away our right. Yes. We are about to be relegated to the background and that must not happen. Yes. Even our forefathers did not do that. Oh. Hmm. This is serious. We all know what is about to happen to us. The question now is, what must we do to stop it from happening? My dear. This is it. We are going to issue a statement. A man who is not married to a daughter of the soil cannot even be a member of the men in council. Not to talk about being a king. No, I disagree. What do you mean by you disagree? Let me ask you. Are you going to allow a woman who is not from this land become your queen? No, 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 no. May the gods forbid it. My dear, keep the gods away from this. We are going to fight. It is our fight. Yes. And we must win. Yes. Yes. My point is that emphasis should be on the king. Including the men in council in our statement would mean taking that too far. And we don't need that now. Uh, point too. She has a point there, yes, 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 yes. We can actually, may not be prevent the birds from flying, but can prevent them from perching on our heads. Can't you communicate without using emphasis and proverbs? Can't you? If a daughter of the soil is not communicating in proverbs, Eh? That means she is not the true daughter of the soil. Simple. My point is this, my dear. Our men can continue to bring in strange women to our land in marriage, yeah. but they will never sit on the throne as king. Yes! The chief priest has refused to bend by reconsulting the gods. What do you think we can do? Nothing, nothing. How do you mean by nothing? 
To me, I believe there is no chief priest who will say the God says this and the God says that when they have not actually spoken to him. It is unacceptable to me. Totally unacceptable. How can we allow a total stranger, a woman from another land, to become the queen of our kingdom? It's unacceptable. Same feelings, yeah. But the truth be told, mm -hmm. since he said the gods have spoken to him, mm -hmm. let us leave it like that and respect his choice. Yes, respect the choice of the gods only when it is in conformity with our tradition and custom. It is beginning to appear to me that you have a plan. Can you lead me into that plan? No, no, no. No, not, not a plan. It's just, just a suggestion. Can I hear it? Well, it's not much. The suggestion is, Shukuka should immediately marry another woman, a daughter of this land, a full-blooded daughter of this land, who becomes his queen after his coronation, and that settles it. It's your girl. <laughs> Now I know why they call you the master planner. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> you are right. And I totally agree with you. And I know he will not have any problem with that. <laughs> He'll show you the master planner. Nothing. <laughs> no, seriously, now why? What happened? Nothing. Idara! Mm. Idara, are you here? Rose? Rose? Excuse me. Oh, my friend. Hold on. Yes, what is it? Please sit. What is it? The women are ganging up against you. Why? They said you want to take what rifle belongs to them. Oh, I'm aware. Chezokam already confronted me with it. What did she tell you? Inem, remember I wanted to mention it to you earlier, but you said you weren't prepared to listen. I am ready to listen now. What did she say to you? She said I am positioning myself for the queenship of this kingdom. And I'm wondering, how am I positioning myself for the queenship? Your husband will soon become the king of this land. And you will sit by his side as his queen. They are insisting it will never happen. They are ready to do anything to stop it. It's fine, Rose. Thank you for the information. We appreciate it. Okay, sir. Take care. I'll see you later. Eh? That dream I had is about to become a reality. They will beat me up. And you will not be able to do anything. In them. Nothing will happen to you. Not while I'm still alive. Okay? If the gods have chosen me to be the next king of Israel kingdom, when that time comes, you will be sitting by my side. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. You sound as if you haven't been listening to everything we're saying. What are you saying? I am saying that we had a plan to stay positive and happy until the coronation. My love, we are going to stick to that plan. Okay, baby, keep the focus. I got you.
One is problem. my sister done that makes you refer to her as a gold digger? Your sister has done everything. She has done everything. Just tell her I said she should retrace her steps else. <laughs> Can you please tell me in clear terms what she did wrong? I just told you your sister wants to reap where she did not sow. But we, the women of Ezira, we will never allow that happen. Lie, lie, we can never allow that. Mwanye Mwangu can never be queen over us. Omame. Okay, so that is what my sister did wrong, right? It's fine. I heard you. I'm going to tell her what you said. Mm. Make sure you tell her. Make sure you tell her ki wena kwanya bwam 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 ne go dupu ya. Omu ko na hio rupu. Go back to mom ki je hio rupu. Don't you people have young men over there? Why are you coming here? Eh? Osanye nwere umu oke maru matoro ogo no go nwere go. Go back to your village. Onye mama e botara anu nkita kosi. Go back to your village. You leave our village for us. Way. Your sister can never be queen. Lie, lie. Tell her I said that. Me, Chia I will never allow her to be queen. Your sister will never be queen. Stop it. Stop it. Your sister will never be queen. Hey. What's that, dear? What kind of people are this? Eh? Mom, people. Why don't you get one of Mwa to pokwa monu na bosi ka nketa nwa na ekwuke. Sister, the girls do not make a mistake. Am I not vindicated? I knew it. He was going to say exactly that. All of us grew up in this kingdom. Starting from when we were young to now that we are men living in this town. Have we ever seen or have we ever heard it that the girls made a mistake? Not at all. We have not. But, Chief, the path chosen by the gods this time will tear the kingdom apart. How do you mean? The women of this kingdom will vehemently resist a stranger 
a total foreigner from another land, to preside over the affairs. Good enough, you personally told me that they have accosted you. We are very convinced that Ezra will be overwhelmed by problems. You know the women. Any cause they decide to fight, we always end in their favor. Well, I need, to, I need us to understand that the women of this kingdom are the women of this kingdom. And we are the men of this kingdom. We are not going to prevent our women from exploring themselves. We have to allow the women, let them explore their exuberance. I don't think it is right for the men to find a way to stand before the women to prevent them from doing what they want to do. If that happens, it is going to backfire. She forbid again. Yes, you've made a point, but not in all cases. Women you will agree with me are like children. If we allow the women to take decision in this case, they wouldn't be able to arrive at any good decision. But if we men step into it to decide over it, we would be able to arrive at the best decision in this case. So can you brief me on this wise decision you believe you are going to take for the women or for the kingdom that is going to be the best? Chukuka, we have to take another wife from the soil. A maiden whose parents are from this kingdom. Well, you have a point. Uh, but don't you think that something as heavy as a man Taking a second wife is a decision the man must have to make by himself and not the one that people will make and impose on him. Don't you think? Yes, you are right. But we have a strong belief that if you speak with him, since he has great respect for you and you have great influence upon him, he will be able to do the needful. Well, like I said already, the decision of a man deciding to go and take a second wife is one the man must be allowed to make by himself. Look at me, Shifo I have only one wife, my woman of Colombia that we all know. She's the one I've been marrying since. Do you now think that I am the right person who will leave his house? and go to another man's house to ask him to take a second wife? You really think so? Sure. Well, if you men believe that Chukuka taking a second wife is the best way to solve this problem, I want you to go to him and mention that to him. I want you to make that suggestion to him without mentioning my name. Sister. Your food is in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Ah, that reminds me, sister. Can, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, sister, do you by chance have a problem with anybody in this village? No. So why are they saying that you want to take what rightfully belongs to the women of this village? And here we don't turn the semi -goro. Who said that? Um, a woman. What's what's her name? Uh, she, she's a she's a I don't know. She bumped into me on my way coming back to the house. She said, "Your sister wants to take what rightfully belongs to the women of this land." And so I asked her, "What is that thing that rightfully belongs to the women of this land that my sister wants to take?" Okay. The thing is, my husband has been chosen to be king of this kingdom. Really? And if he becomes king, automatically I would be queen. So the women of this land do not want me to be queen over them. Okay. Uh, but, but sister, do you have an idea about the custom and tradition? I mean, what it entails to become queen of this kingdom? I heard the queen must be a daughter of the sir. Sister, a kanban fanadodo. Hmm. Very serious problem. <sighs> uh, 
I went to your house and your wife told me you went out. Yes. So it's not been long I left the house. So what are you doing here? I just want to take some time out. Be on my own and strategize. Strategize on what place? On how to become the next king of this kingdom. I don't understand. How do you mean? Exactly what you heard, my friend. The gods made a terrible mistake of their choice of Chukuga. And I want to take advantage of that and become the king of this kingdom. I disagree with you. I disagree with you for saying that the gods made mistake. No! We both know that the gods are too wise and can never make mistakes. <laughs> Not in this contest. I want you to reason and think like a real man of Ezira who has the blood of Ezra running in his veins. All right. Prove it. I mean, prove to me that the gods are wrong in their selection. Beautiful. I'm sure you are aware that the king and queen of this land must be son and daughter of the soil. Yes, you're correct. Fine. Now, the gods have gone the wrong way by choosing a son of the soil whose wife is not a daughter of the soil. What does that mean to you? Yes, you're, you're actually right. Idara is from Akwaibon and cannot become the queen of this land. One. Now you understand what I'm saying, my friend. Let us take over this land. And I will reward you handsomely if you win. Join forces with me. Let us fight. And if we win this war... Hey, hey, hey. 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 Count me out. I should go to contest with the gods. The gods have made their choice. And we are supposed to respect it. Anyway, I was looking for you so that we can go and congratulate Chukoka. I will not do that kind of nonsense. I will not try it. You requested to see me. Yes. Abongwe is not happy with you. I can tell. But have you been able to ascertain why he's not happy? Um, first, he is not happy that you you're going to become the king. Mm. And secondly, he has a plan to make himself the king. That is sad. If Abamwe is so desperate to become king, I suggest that he prays hard, very hard to the gods to choose him. I did not ask for this. I will be happy to go back to my normal life and business. You know, not for once have I ever bribed anyone to be chosen to be king of Israel kingdom. You were there when I was chosen. Yeah. I know everything, so you don't need to explain. But I'm just telling you this for you to be very careful. I understand. I thank you too. It means a lot to know that I can always count on you to look out for me. Thank you. It's it's fine. It's fine. What are you doing here? I heard there was an opening invitation for the women, so I decided to come. Now listen to me. This invitation 
is not just for women. It is for the women of the soil. We are, yes. Now let me ask you. Ebonwa Fana. Are you a woman of the soil? Listen. Idara or whatever they call you. The invitation is for the daughters of the soil. And not for strangers like you. But by virtue of my marriage to a son of the soil, I am also a part of this kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. You lie. By virtue of marriage, you are part of us. But by core inheritance, you are not part of us. Is the neighbor part of us? Where is your two rappers? They do quite for now, buddy. You don't need any other explanation. Mm -mm. So leave. Right now. I cannot leave because you didn't invite me here. Madam, will you shut up? Say, we will descend on you if you don't leave here at once. Leave here. You think we are. I never. I never. Papa, you didn't make it. You didn't make it. Papa, you are. See, see. Oh, you see. Papa, you are going to leave. Papa, you are going to leave. Ma, to be an arana. I told you, Papa, you are. I mean, this is not even right. This was an open invitation. Listen. I'm not a guy but I be a con. I'm not a makura case. I'm not a nyanga nyanga mwang nyang nyang dum. So biko, buru awegi sieba po. Live here right now. This is not fair. This is absolutely not fair. Even if I am not going to win, can't I just take part? Onye kagi ni ana kopa nunga. I'm not a guy but I be a con nyanga nyanga mwang nyang nyang dum. Suru ge ha sieba po biko. Leave this place right now. Please leave her to join us. Ma da kwa genra. Leave this place now. Even if I'm not she going to win, I can't stop. Wait, 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 to the best of my knowledge, a queen remains a queen until she dies. So the selection today is to identify the new queen. If we have two queens praying for the women of Ezra Kingdom on each of the Ekuku market days, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. We can have a sense of prayers. Uh, hey, as the one is here. Uh, the chief priest has already assured us and he says you know exactly what to do to identify who the next queen is. So we are hoping that you will do it and we trust you to do it to the very best of your knowledge. But I believe when it is done that you, you are going to give us feedback, right? Of course. As a matter of fact, this has become imperative because of the agitations from the women. But ideally, the king's wife should become the queen automatically. Eh, but seeing that the kite has learned how to fly without passion, we the shooters have equally learned how to shoot without aiming. That's it. Let us continue what we have started just to fulfill all righteousness and the lower orders. Eh? <laughs> Very well then. Whatever happens, it will all end today. By the will and mercies of the gods, we will know our designated queen today. Say, he say. <laughs> when all the hene when you will go for eh? Why are you this stubborn? Go home now. This invitation is not for you. Can you help me, Henka? Maybe we should allow her to take part. Madam, what game row? Madam, what game row? Don't even say that. Why will you say that? She's not part of us, so she has to leave. To treat her like that. Very See, don't get me angry. You can as well relinquish your position for her. Since you want to be a good person. Yes, so that is the right thing to do. Since you want her to partake in this show, just relinquish your position for her. I will do it. Yes, I will do it. I can't watch you people treat her like that simply because she's not a daughter of the soil. How many people are you? Yes! Secretary! Adam Yanra! Yes! Hey! 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 Hey!
Come and take my place. No, no, please. I'm not desperate to partake in this show. Greetings, your majesty. Greetings, women of Isira Kingdom. Why are you there? Why are you not on the queue with them? They said I cannot partake because I'm not a daughter of the soul, your majesty. Please come. What is about to happen here is open to everyone. This is simple. Whoever is able to step into the circle of the gods without wavering is the chosen one. And is automatically qualified to go on a journey with me. As I make the circle right now, There is no need jolting. I can assure you that everyone here is qualified to give it a try. Starting from you. Step into the circle of the gods. <laughs> Obviously you are rejected by the gods. Next! Next person! the chosen one. Taking me to to the sacred place. What are we going there to do? 
I am going to show you the court duty of every queen of Ezira Kingdom. We normally visit the ancestral hut to make supplication on every Ekuku market day. My duty is to my husband, not to the unseen. The queen of Ezira Kingdom is not considered as every other woman or like any other woman. Rather, she is considered as a woman on a mission. Woman on a mission? Yes! I don't understand. Young lady, when we get there, you will understand everything. There is no time. Let's go. Chosen by the gods, I am no one can stop me. I am oh, I am oh, oh, oh. I am Ayo. I am Ayo. I am Ayo. Oh, oh, oh. I am Ayo. I am Do not be afraid, my dear. What are we doing here? Huh? If you come down, we will leave here very soon. Do exactly what I just did. the sacred mantle of queens in Ezira. I, I, am I no longer qualified? Put your mind into it. Settle it in your heart that you are the queen already. Now go for it. Okay. I have already settled it in my heart. I know I can do this. to do. Her husband has already been named king as my husband was. Therefore, it is only normal for her to be the next queen of a zero kingdom. And that cannot be possible unless you give her the blessings of the sacred mantle of queens of a zero kingdom. This is all what I ask from you. Go for it. Be bold. Go for it. No one can stop me. 
That is it. Does it mean I have passed the test? You are going to be queen after me. And nothing, absolutely nothing is going to change it. Congratulations, the great queen of Azira Kingdom! Congratulations. I am not convinced. Why? I was rejected the first instance before you intervened. Why? Because you are not a daughter of the soil of the Zira Kingdom. That means the controversy is well rooted. Yes. And no. How do you mean? There will be controversy if you are not converted as a daughter of the soil through the Okuku Ndichi of Ezira. But there will be no controversy if you are converted. What is Okuku Okuku Ndichi? With time, you will understand everything you need to know about royalty. But first, your husband remains your head and you will become the authority of the women of Ezira. Every Ekuku market day, that is the Eke of the month, when the moon is full, you will be here to pray for the women of Ezira. There will be disaster if you fail. You cannot control it. It's a dream. Dream? You were dreaming? Yes. <sighs> what is the dream all about? Is it not that witch? Eh? She did not only bribe the men in council, but she also bribed one new corner, the queen, to make her the queen of Ezira kingdom. I don't know what you're saying. Father did not name me Chia Zokam for nothing. Yes, I will resist them. I will fight them with the last drop of my blood. I am your husband. I have the right to know what is going on. Fa wogaria nya fa wutu wutu. Utu abu na fasitia. Fa paputi ya kai nene. Mhm. Kai nene. O mi nuka ngene. Wote ya kisi wote ya. Nana waka adema. Waka ma. Waka adema. Welcome. By now I'm expecting that. Many council of Ezra Kingdom would have invited a DB Alpha. So I will confirm the spiritual background. Why have you not done that? Wise one. Please. I'm sorry. At this point, I am lost. What do you mean by check his spiritual background? Are you suspecting that the young man is not spiritually sound to be a king yet? You went ahead to name him our king? The gods named him our king, not me. Yes. It is the duty of the elders in council to do a thorough checking, to confirm. Check his spiritual background and confirm. If he has an abomination committed sometime, then a cleansing to be done. Then such cleansing should be carried out before he becomes the custodian of the greater of all the kings. Wise one, 
if the young man already has an abomination hanging on his neck, why did the gods choose him? I never said abominable. Do not put words into the mouth of the gods. Don't! You elders of the Zera Kingdom, don't put words into the mouth of the gods. The one with an abomination can still be named. But uh, such a person cannot become the custodian with that abomination. The gods have named him already. It is for you to invite Adibia for who will check thoroughly his spiritual background. Who will do further consultations with his Ugili? The coronation will be coming of the next Ekuku market day. Uh, well, as I say, I want to personally thank you for this wonderful information you have given us. Uh, we are going to do exactly what you have instructed. Uh, wait a minute, Obideke. Who are the we you are saying? We? Men. I hope you are not proposing to include my name among the men who will go out there to cleanse the abomination committed by another man. If we are not cleaning the abomination, who will clean it? What's one? If he has committed an abominable act, why did the gods choose him in the first place? Elders of Ezra Kingdom. I said, check his spiritual background. Check his spiritual background. I am already feeling challenged by men who are not supposed to challenge me. Retrace your steps. Retrace your steps before I forget that we are brothers. Dara, how are you? Very well, my queen. You didn't tell me you were coming. I also didn't know I'll be coming here. I came with a message from the gods. I hope it is for good. Of course it is for good. Here. Take it. Keep it safe. And make sure no one takes it away from you. What will I do with it? It's part of what you need in your journey to where you ought to be in the nearby future. Okay, my queen. No. Don't try to open it. You cannot see the contents of the bag until you're converted. Hmm? Converted into what? No more questions, Sidara. No more questions. Don't try to open the content of the bag, else you'll go blind. Mm. Then I do not need the bag, please. Adhering to the instruction as simple as not trying to check the content of this bag is part of your training. If you wish to become the queen of this great Ezra kingdom, then you must learn to keep secrets. This is already tough. I can't keep secrets. My dear Idara, I do not know what you are thinking about. But it might interest you to know that being the next queen of this great Azira kingdom is not a simple task. First, you must be converted. And above all, you must learn to keep secrets. Learn to keep secrets. Why am I always seeing her?
The dream is a clear indication that Idara is favored by the gods to emerge the next queen of the land. But I can pick holes from what happened in the dream. And from there I can put myself on the seat. First, the gods rejected her by not allowing her step into the circle of supplication. It is a way to show that the revered position of the queen of Ezira kingdom is specifically kept for daughters of the soil. Secondly, the queen used strong words to calm the forces before she was able to step in. That means she cannot command the spirits that are always coming to destroy the women. Hmm. These are loopholes. And I will use them and make myself queen. <laughs> but what is Ukukundichi? We'll be here for more than 30 minutes. Maybe you should call him again. No, no, no. I'm not quite calling him. Why? To avoid suspicion. Uh, Nietzsche. Um, oh. Good afternoon. I greet you. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry I ran a bit late. Uh, no problem. Really sorry. No problem. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we will hit the nail on the head immediately so that you can set your hands on purpose. Oh, yes. Uh, Ichi, I'll be quite happy. Um, I'm happy to update you that um, DBAFA has just confirmed that I do not have any kind of abomination on me, so I will not be needing to come in for any kind of cleansing. Uh, so as it is, I am very much um, <laughs> pumped up and I'm prepare, preparing for the, for the big day. Uh, um, of, unless, of course, um, there is any kind of obstacle, I think that we are good to go. And what will you do if there is any obstacle? Uh, <laughs> I'll be happy to let you know that I am not desperate to become king. I already have a thriving business. I have a happy family. I have a good life as it is. Uh, if it's an obstacle that I can, uh, that is surmountable, why not? Uh, we'll take care of it together and move on. But if there's also something that um, I believe is beyond me, I'll be happy to go back home and mind my business. Let me tell you why you are someone here. It is not crystal clear that you are the chosen one by the gods. We are thankful to the gods for having chosen a man of character. Competence and courage has been chosen, but uh, there is still a bot. Uh, that bot is why we summoned you. I, I assume that this bot is an obstacle. Our tradition forbids you ascend the throne without the woman from this kingdom. It has never happened before, and it will never happen in our own time. And we have a soft landing spot for you. You will immediately start looking for another wife. Who becomes your queen once you are coronated as the king? What did I just hear? Of course, you heard him clearly. Start looking for a wife. Just have few days to do so. And remember, that new wife must be a daughter of this kingdom. A full-blooded daughter of this kingdom. Your strange wife continues to be your wife, but unfortunately, she cannot partake in the spiritual refreshment of our women. Ah, well, I, I cannot say that I am fine, Chief. Why did you say that? I just came out of a meeting with um, Chief Mbono and Chief Ogoro. And they told me that I have to marry a second wife if I have to be king. 
What reason did they give? Well, they said that our tradition forbids a woman that is not from our tribe from becoming queen of a zero kingdom, you know. The Libya said yesterday that uh, your father mentioned something to you before he died. And as at that time, you were not able to remember exactly what it was. Yes, he said something, to, but is that connected to this? What did your father tell you? Well, he told me that um, should kingship knock on my door, that I may not be able to that I may not be able to sit on the throne of Ezra Kingdom. Sounded rather strange, but that, that was all he told me. It is possible that we may have resolved this puzzle. So, what do you intend to do now? Chief. Papa! Papa! Oh! Hey, hey. Papa. My daughter. Hey, Papa. Hey. You are welcome. Thank, thank you, Papa. How are you? Papa, I am fine. How was your trip? Papa, it was fine. Well, thank God. I, I, it's like you came with the first boss. Ah, ah, Papa, mm. immediately you called me. Mm. Eh? Mm. From the way you signed over the phone. Mm. I had to leave whatever I was doing to come down to come and see you. Oh, you yes. Very well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. You are welcome. Thank you. Uh, drop your bag, eh? We have something urgent to discuss. Eh, yes. Okay. I will be waiting for you there. All right, Papa. Thank you, there. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Chibuka, you are the one who is going to become the king in Ezra. The mere fact that you have been chosen means you are an insane. No two words about it. And no matter what, an insane must eat cola. I'm asking you to drink something in my house. Nobody has died. Chief. I must tell you that um, at the moment I am confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. So if marrying a second wife will cripple this man and they shut their mouths, are you telling me you're not going to do it? To be honest, Chief, I do not think that polygamy is evil, given that it's part of our tradition as Africans, you know? So I am understanding that to mean you have made up your mind to take a second wife and become king. No, 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 no. That's not what I have said. Uh, what I am saying is that um, polygamy is not um, as evil as people see it, especially Christians. You know, uh, my only problem with polygamy is the trouble that comes with it. So you are saying... Uh, you foresee a situation where you will not be able to take care of all these troubles that come with polygamy when you are, when you are king? Well, I just say that I am threading carefully. I have seen kings and great men go down because of the troubles that come with polygamy. So, automatically you are saying you are not even going to give it a trial? I am confused, Chief. I love my wife with all of my heart. Idara is the love of my life and I do not want to be distracted by another woman. So what is our conclusion from this? I am confused as you know. I would beg for more time. Give me a day to think about this and I'll get back to you. That's the problem. The Ekuku market day is still very far because the moon is still very tender. You have all the time. Thank you very much for 
for your support at all times. You are welcome. We do everything for the gods, for I am convinced that we are nothing without the gods. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for always coming around. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I did not disrupt your activities in the city. Not at all, Papa. God. You are welcome. Thank you, Papa. <clears throat> yes, an issue at hand that is very important. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. God. The queenship of this kingdom is up for grabs. And I want you to go for it. <laughs> Papa, hmm? how is that going to be possible? Because I know we have a queen who is still very much alive. Yes. So how is it going to be possible? Oh, a queen who has lost her husband cannot be a queen forever. Yes, Papa. Hmm. She will stop being the queen. Immediately a new king emerges. We were told that the girls were angry over how we treated the late king. And as a punishment, that there will be no king in the land of Ezira Kingdom. <laughs> yes. A daughter of the land is speaking. Oh, she knows everything. I'm impressed. Thank you, Papa. Ah, yes. We have been forgiven by the gods. And as a matter of fact, a new king has been chosen. Wow. Papa, a lot has really happened. Yes. And uh, I called you back because of the queenship. I want you to go for it. Papa. Hmm? That sounds so interesting. Hmm. Now, who is this chosen king that you want me to marry? Oh. See, the identity of the chosen king is of no importance as at now. Hmm? The important thing now is, are you ready to be the next queen of this kingdom? <laughs> Papa, the thing here is that I've always dreamt of being the next queen of this kingdom. Mm. But I think that is a thing of the past now. I'm no longer interested in all of those things. Yeah. How do you mean? Oh, Papa, mm. as it is right now, mm. I'm in a very serious relationship. And that relationship stops here and now. My plan for you is to become the queen of this kingdom. Papa, hmm? did, you, did you just say that to me? Yes. I did not just talk to you as your father, but as Ichie Ogoro. Eh? A very powerful man of this kingdom. And whatever I say is final. Long live the new king of Ezra Kingdom. <laughs> You're welcome to the board of the chief priest. Ezemwa, I must say that I am surprised you still address me as an incoming king. I missed all the resistance from the people of Ezra. <laughs> Those who resist the decision of the gods may be consumed, destroyed by the gods. Why are you here? I am here because the people are beginning to make me feel that the gods made a mistake choosing me as the next king. Yeah. And do you think they are right? I don't know, is it more? That's why I have come to see you. Hmm. Speak to me in the moods of a king. Yes. So what troubles you? My wife is not from here. My wife is a woman that I met. I know. Your wife is from Uyu? That I already know. And the gods know as well. So go ahead with what you are saying. Is it more, if you have that information, then why should I bother to go into further explanation as to why I'm here? For as we all know, every maiden that has gone ahead to become a queen of Ezra Kingdom have always been a daughter of the soil, and my wife is not from here. If the gods have decided to make you the new king of Ezra Kingdom, Whatever your wife is coming from is irrelevant. For the gods already know that your wife is not from 
This is our kindle. So what then do you advise that I do um, against the, the idea of picking a second wife? Oh, the choice is yours. The gods are interested in you becoming the king and not your wife. One thing that even my enemies give to me is that I will always identify the truth. And each time I identify the truth, I align myself with that truth. You see, this very topic that borders on disobeying the express order made by the chief priest, I don't want to get involved in it. Chief Obidike, how can you say that? A great injustice has been met here on the women of this kingdom. And you are telling us that you do not want to get involved. Huh? Why then is the truth that you claim that you are lying with? She has come. Partnering with women and disgruntled elements of this kingdom to challenge the order of the priest is the truth to speak of. All we want you to do is to use your good offices to cancel the coronation process. See, Chukuka cannot become king. He cannot ascend the throne with a woman who is not from this kingdom. In the history of Ezira kingdom, a king has never ascended a throne with a woman who is not from this kingdom. It has never happened. Well, a coronation that is already faced by the chief priest cannot be cancelled by a man like me. In fact, there is nobody who can stop the chief priest of this kingdom except the gods. Chief Obidiki, the voice of the people is the voice of the gods. We know we are women, but we are going to stop him. We will. You know, a woman like you who is menstruating every other month cannot actually stop. Even the children masquerade from doing whatever thing they want to do. And now you are telling me in my living room that you have all it takes to challenge the chief priest? No, is that what I'm saying? Chief, we are not challenging anyone. Chacha, our minds are made up already. If you continue with the coronation process, we will come after whomever that's involved. Full stop. Should I understand this to mean that you are threatening me in my living room? Nobody is challenging you. Nobody. I just want you to know that the women of this land must fight for their right. And they will stop at nothing until the right thing is done. You know what? I am done with this meeting. Chief Obidike, you cannot be done with this meeting. You cannot be done with this meeting. Three men We are chosen from three different families of kings. They were presented to the gods to be chosen. The gods chose Chukuka. Who will now see is a big error. Yes. Be mindful of your language, woman. The gods do not make mistakes. But they have already made mistakes, Chief Obidike. Yes, they, they did. They have. And it is clear for all to see. Do you know what? I encourage you to go ahead and they stop this coronation that is feast. You disagree with the chief priest and you believe that the gods have made a mistake. Bring on whatever thing you have in your arsenal and succeed in stopping this very courage. And I will believe that the gods have indeed made a mistake. Amen. You don't look happy. What's the problem? Too many confusions cropping. I'm going to be fine. I know you are going to be fine. But can you please tell me what troubles you? My love, at this stage I would not want you to be part of my many troubles, but I assure you that I will be fine. <sighs> Amen. If this journey to kingship would take away the peace that we have had in this house.
then we should look at it again. We are not desperate for this. If royalty is going to ruin the peace that we have enjoyed all these years, then we should relax and decide exactly what we want. We are talking about marrying the king. <laughs> and if you are asking me if it is by force, I will answer you emphatically that it is yes. You must marry him. No, Papa Mba, it is not by force to marry him. You cannot force me to marry a man who I don't love. Papa, check it now. You check it. I don't love him from anywhere. See, you cannot force me to marry him simply because you want me to be the queen. Who does that? Papa, let me tell you. The man I will marry will have to be someone that I love. And he will convince me that he loves me back. Simple. What do you know about love? I may not know much. But the little I know is enough for me to know my left from my right. Mm. Yes. How can you talk about love when you are not even reasonable enough to think about what I just told you to give it a chance? Papa, stop this now. Papa, Papa, Papa please stop this. Hey, I've told you, I'm telling you again. I have a man in my life and he is the one I want to be with. Mm. Yes. You will call the man. If I told he's a man in the real sense of being a man, I tell him it is over. I will do no such thing, Papa. Eh? Yes, I'm not going to do that. Mm. He is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. I am comfortable with him, and he is the one I want to end my life with. Mm. Yes. I'm your father. You will obey me. Papa! You will obey me! Papa, Papa stop this now! Papa! What brings you to my compound? My name is Chia Zokam, the daughter of a I chief. did not ask about your name. I ask you, why are you here? I want you to tell me the meaning of Okukundichi. Why? Nothing much. The Queen Mother mentioned it yesterday in my dream. And the Chi Obidike also mentioned it yesterday. So I want to know the meaning of Okukundi Chi. Then go back to Chi Obidike for the meaning. He told me to go and get the meaning from someone else. So I can't go back to him. Why? Am I not a daughter of this land? My father was an Ichi before he died. So why won't you educate me on what Okukundi Chi is? Okukundi Chie, as the name implies, is for the Ichies. It is not for women. It is not called Okuku for the women, no. So, since your father was an Ichie before he died, and he did not educate you on the meaning, it is not in my place as the chief priest of this land to discuss that with you. She came with a very bad spirit. As she sewed her hands into anything, Since Donko has not been himself since yesterday. 
But you are right. Sidu, what could be the problem? I don't know. Sister, you don't know. Is he not your husband? You should be the first person to know what troubles him. I asked him what the problem is, and all he could say is he will be fine. He'll be fine. See, sister, you need to pressurize him to tell you. It's not like him. It's looking so unhappy and withdrawn. It's okay. Now I'll speak with him later. I'm, re I'm really worried. Happiness is gradually eluding this family and I don't like it. Abasima. Sister. It's okay. I will speak with him. Okay. Is his food ready? Uh, yes, you can come serve it. All right, let's go. Okay, let me help you. Should I help you? That's all. Thank you. Can I tell you the truth? You have become one of those visitors that I do not ever enjoy their visits. Eh? What have I done wrong? You may not have done anything wrong, but there is this spirit. This evil spirit that always travels with you anywhere you go. And I am no longer comfortable with that spirit. I like your Kwamiya. Uh uh. Which one is the evil spirit now? I don't know what you're talking about, and I am not possessed by any evil spirit. Uh, do you know what? Can you tell me why you are here? I'll tell you. Chief, please. I want to know the meaning of Okukundichi. Okay, I am going to give it to you as an assignment. Go and find out what it means. When you find the meaning, then you can come back and tell me what you have understood it to mean. Then and only then will I tell you what you need to know about it. Chief Matos an assignment. You've given me this assignment before. Eh? I went to someone and the person told me reliably to come back to you that you know the meaning. Please, tell me the meaning. Who did you speak with? The chief priest. And what did he tell you? He said I should come back to you. That you will tell me what it means. Why would he refer you back to me? Hi. But I know you know the meaning. Eh? Please. What is Okukundichi? I want to know. Okay, you know what? Go and bring me your husband. When you bring your husband, I will tell your husband everything and then he will be the one that will pass the information across to you. Since your father was an chair before he died and he did not educate you on the meaning, it is not in my place as the chief priest of this land to discuss that with you. Eh? What is so, 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 so important in this thing that neither you nor the chief, chief priest can spill it? What? I've already made it easy for you. Bring your husband to me and I'm going to tell him everything concerning Okukundichi Dinime Mkulu. What is... Is this a new twist to it? What do you mean by... the Dinime I don't understand. Bring your husband. If you can. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Pushing so hard, why the desperation? No, why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? 
So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. Embrace the truth. Uncle, you're not eating yet. Or should I help you? How are you? I am fine, sir. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for thanks for asking. Okay, um, I want to get something from the kitchen. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth, choice of the gods, nobody can question, you have to come call, okwa kwa banti monoro, ebo le sinte solo na bananas, okko konti kei, nano kui feni do vi who can question, the opinion of the gods, I for the quang quang the bell. Oh, yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome, my dear. Thank you. Yeah. You enjoying palm wine? As you can see, you can as well join me. It tastes good, trust me. I don't have the appetite. And it tastes super. Mm -mm, thank you. Okay. So, how did it go? You can't believe it. The chief priest asked me to go and see Chief Obidike. Well, that's fine, that's okay. You can go straight and see Chief Obidike then. Obim, that is where I am coming from. And guess what? Chief Obidike asked that you come and see him. Uh -uh. What is going on? I don't know. But Obim, whatever it is, we must see this to the end. Of course, we're going to see the end of it. Because I'm going to see Chief Obidike today, unfailingly. Exactly what I thought. You have to. Well, obviously you look tired and probably you're hungry. I am. Uh... I missed something in the kitchen. Obim, stop it. Come on, I made food for you. You did? Oh, yes. For me? Oh, you know my wife. Aww. Oh, She made food for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. You know what? I know you must be tired. That's I why am. I did it. Thank you. I can't wait to go and taste the food. Okay? Just me. <laughs> You'll be shocked when you taste it. Oh, I know you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> but what is so special about the so-called Okukundichi that the elders do not want to tell my wife? I hope all is well. This is so unlike him. Something is terribly wrong. Why will he leave the house without even eating his food? Are you saying he did not finish his food or he didn't even eat at all? Sister, I did not even test a grain of rice from his food. <sighs> this is so unlike him to leave the house without food. This whole thing is really affecting him. That something is wrong somewhere. See, you need to find out what that is and fix it. The kingship is a problem. The kingship? Sister, I, I feel there is more to it than the kingship. Something is wrong. 
You need to find out what that is and fix it. What do I do? I'm confused. I love my wife and I have never dreamt of sharing my body with another woman besides her. And on the other hand, I love my people. It has always been my heart's desire to give them good leadership that has eluded them for a long, long time. Is this connected to what my father said? Wow. You have a beautiful house here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. Ah. I hope you know that uh, very soon uh, you'd move in with me here. No. Why not? I cannot leave the family house like that. Someone needs to be there to take care of it. Uh, Dad, we can get someone to take care of it. Or better still, we put it up for rent. As long as you come here and stay with me. That would be sheer waste of money and to hire somebody to take care of the house when I can actually be there and take good care of it. But Daddy, I need you close to me. Eh? I want you close to me. I, I mean, it's really comfortable here, as you can see. Everything that you need is right here. Eh? We'll have food. We'll have your kind of drink. Uh, Daddy, there's constant power supply. Eh? What else do you want? Uh, my son, uh, I appreciate what you are trying to do. It is all right, but I can't leave the family house. I also live in a comfortable house, and I'm not complaining. Uh, Dad, there is really no winning with you. Even if you are not comfortable in that house, you would never say so. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, my son, I appreciate what you are trying to do. Uh, it's all right, but I won't leave the family house. Uh, now that you have this beautiful structure erected in your name, I think it's time for you to look for a beautiful damsel from our land to make you a wife. No, don't you think so? Well, Dad, I have found a beautiful lady that I would like to get married to. Uh, She's from Uyo. In a quiet home state. You'd love her when you see her. Uh, but why go that far? When you can actually have beautiful and responsible women from my own land, from a Zira kingdom, to marry. Dad, the heart wants what it wants. That is why I found love. Hmm? I, I, I think um, I think I'm having a headache now. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we continue this discussion. <laughs> no problem. Do you want anything? No, no, no tomorrow. Dad, since yesterday when I told you about my intention to marry the lady from Aquaibom, your countenance changed and has remained so till now. What is the problem? Chuka. Yes, mm -hmm. You are not just anyone. You are a royal seed from the family of kings. Dad, you're not a king. Why all this plenty talk about kingship? Uh, first, mm, I want to let you know that if you decide to marry anyone from anywhere, it's entirely your choice. I understand that. Uh, not mine. Uh, but that choice we either make or marry you. Okay, now I don't understand. Please explain. If at the end of the day you end up marrying a woman who is not from Ezira from this kingdom. You will be limited to so many things. Can you explain further, please? 
uh, I will use the kingship of this land to explain as an example, to explain it further to you. Should the gods decide to make you king of Israel land, your marriage with a woman who is not from Ezira, that will hamper it a great deal. But I have never shown interest in matters of royalty, so why should I be bothered about their throne? <laughs> it is not their throne. It is equally a throne. Women who are not from Ezira land eh, have never functioned as queens in Ezira. And I don't see change in our time. Uh, we advise that whatever you have in common with, with her, you end it and choose a wife for my people. I'm sorry, Father, but I have crossed the Rubicon with her. There is no going back. Well, as I said, the decision is entirely yours. It's yours. Uh, uh, come and see me off. I want to go. I never saw this coming. What do I do? As that I see you. Yes. And that's because she was asking questions on something that has got to do with just men. Are you talking about the meaning of Okukundiche? Yes. Okukundiche is that very spot where our progenitor made the declaration of Alokose. Its ritual is divided into two segments. One of the segments has only to do with men, and that is the segment we are going to discuss today. The other segment, uh, we are not going to bother ourselves about that. Okay. Go ahead, I'm listening, Chief. It is an age-long tradition, an age-long ritual here in Ezra Kingdom, and in fact, all other kingdoms in Ebola land. Once a male child, a son, is born into a family, his arrival is announced to the Okukundi Shia with an animal that has blood by the men in that family. Some will use a fowl, some will use goat, some will use ram, some will use sheep. In fact, some wealthy families are actually killed cows. On the Okuku. So, are you saying that if a man cannot afford any of the items you have mentioned, he's not eligible to announce his son to the gods? <laughs> I, I never said that. Because in the ancient Igbo land, almost all the families were rearing animals. Any man who can impregnate a woman can afford at least a cock to announce his son in the Okuku. That ritual is very important because it is on that ritual that we trigger the sheep. That is the personal God of that child, a special gift of the ancestors to start following that child from there going forward. Oh. This is nice. I like it. <laughs> so why did we stop it? Uh, who said we stopped? No, no. Do you think it is possible for us to stop? Only some fools believe that we have stopped. Intelligent people still announce their sons in Okuku Opti today. All those are the people that you see all this Kajamata nonsense that women are now using on men. The men who we are announced in Okuku, those Kajamata, whatever, cannot get them. Even chance cannot get such men because they are heard as the projects of the ancestors, as projects of Ndishia. 
Yes, yeah, so Odilibe, I am at the crossroads here. You see, this issue with royalty is really... It's affecting me, you know? You should be able to present this matter clearly so that I can understand you. What happened? The elders of our land are insisting that I take a second wife if I must ascend the throne as king. Why? Well, you know that my wife is not from here. And if you go by our history, um, a woman born outside Ezra has never been become queen, you know? Uh, you're right. You're right. So what do you want to do? I don't know. That's why I've come to you so that you can advise me. I don't know. If, if you ask me, mm. that should not be a hard decision for you to take. Oh, please tell me, what do you want me to do? What to do is simple. Get yourself a second wife. Yes. No, I can't do that to Idara. I love my wife so much. Can't, can't do that. <clears throat> Point of correction, Chukuka. Your love for your wife is not under contention here. And no one is asking you to chase her away. So what then are you asking that I do? Just get yourself a second wife and consider Idara the wife of your youth. And your new wife will ascend the throne with you as the queen. Hmm. That won't be me relegating Idara to the background. And that will also be, what, polygamy? Something that I do not fancy. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Past kings of our land embraced polygamy. And they did very well, which you know about it. So it will not be a big deal if you decide to tow the same path with them. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I cannot tow that path. That's all who I am. Ne. Wono kuno. Eh? Iruga abacha roma abacha. What is it? Ne. There is problem. Big problem. And if you don't add fast, all that you have planned for will fall like a pack of card before your very eyes. Fear what? That's get why this I'm is that telling you with all these things. Ha. So, um, you talk as if you have a very important information for me. Yes, I do. I'm all ears. Ne. I heard from a reliable source that Iche Ogoro is scheming to marry his daughter Ekema off to Chukuka as one of the criteria that qualifies him to be crowned the king of this land. Oh my God. It will make a sense. Why you mean Jabwaki? His daughter. Uh. Chalo. His Ekema. Uh -huh. Ekema. Uh -huh. Ekema. Ekema. Uh -huh. Ekema na waru na for na for. Small Ekema. <laughs> Manachelo. Ekema I heard is in the city doing business. And from all indication, there's no way she can declare interest in being the queen of a Zira kingdom. Ope. It means you don't even know what is going on. Listen, as we speak right now, Ekema is in town. And the father is already packaging her for Chukuka. He can't remember her name. Imana, you're going to be the queen. And Imana, you're queen. You're going to be at your right hand side. 
Okay. Thank you for the information. Eh? I will get back to you. Mm -hmm. Dalo o. Ima na di ma queen. At first, and I want you to know that we have solidly been you, especially me. That one them all. My queen, my queen. Thank you. Oh, 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 Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 Hey! 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 Wait a minute, Jogoka. You want to tell me that you will forfeit the throne just because of a woman? Idara is not just a woman, Odilibe. Idara is my wife. Idara is the love of my life. And I do not intend to have a second love. See, if not that I've known you for a very long time now, I would have said that you are under influence of some cheap drugs that makes people high unnecessarily. Adelibe, this is not a joke to me. I'll tell you here and now, if the elders of our land insist I take a second wife, I am going to call them and denounce my interest. And I'm serious about it. My family comes first. What has come over you? I mean, why are you behaving like one secondary schoolboy in love? Come on, man. Come on, come out of this. This is your childishness. You need to embrace the throne. Idara is the biggest blessing that life has given to me. Marrying Idara, making her my wife, is the biggest thing that has happened to me. So I don't know what you're talking about. Can I tell you the truth? Go ahead. The gods will be disappointed in you hearing this. Why? I've not asked for anything bad. I'm only protecting my family. The gods will be disappointed in you for choosing to be with a woman instead of ascending the throne and bettering your life. I deliver the gods will understand that my life without a dara would be a mess. My life can never be the same without a Dara by my side. Even the gods know this. Chukwoka, I will advise you think this over and over again. I will not think about it. There is nothing to think about. Family comes first. <sighs> I don't want to argue with you. Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation, no? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth, because I spoke. Oh, baby, you should already trust me by now. I can take anything. How did it go with Chief OBDK? What he said has nothing, I mean, no connection with the issue on ground. I still want to hear what he said. Honey, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, what he said has completely nothing to do with you. Let me deal with it. If you say so. Yeah. 
But then on another development, I was reliably informed that Ichie Ugoro is scheming seriously for Chukuka to marry his daughter Ekema, a second wife. Yes, so that he can ascend the throne with her as the queen because she's a daughter of the soil. <laughs> <laughs> Obi. Yes. I don't understand the laughter. Because it's funny. Why? How? And what you say is very laughable. How? Why? The Chukuka I know will not embrace the idea of taking a second wife. Oh, Obim. Obim, don't be too sure about that. Speak for yourself. Huh? Eh? Speak for yourself. Listen, when it comes to women, men can be unpredictable. Yes, I mean we are talking about a man who loves women so much to the extent that he had to marry a woman from you. The reason he married a woman from you may be different from what you are talking about. Chukuka will never marry a second wife. Hmm. Anyways, you know him more than I do. Of course. So, Bim, if that is the case, then you have to start preparing yourself as king. Because we, the women of Ezira Kingdom, will never allow Chukuka ascend that throne with Idara as his queen. Never. The motto of Boy Scout mm. is be prepared. I am always prepared. I know. In that case, I know your husband is hungry. Mm. Yes, the king in waiting. Mm -hmm. So, my Lolo, go get something nice for the king. Oh, with eat. all pleasure, your highness. That's my Lolo. <laughs> Uh, how are you? I'm fine, welcome. Uh, Inam, what is it? What's bothering you? I am no longer comfortable. I'm fine. Inam, I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever. I'm fine. Your response and your body language suggest otherwise. <sighs> I'm just tired, all right? I'm, I'm just tired. Maybe I'm just overwhelmed by, by a lot, you know, but as a man who is destined to be king, I can tell you that but I am fine, my love. I'm okay. Okay? It is now clear that you're beginning to buy into the tales of my not being a woman of this land. You're now keeping secrets from me. I'm not, I'm not keeping secrets from you. Then, Ine, what is bothering you? Nothing. I'm fine. All right, I've had a long day. I just, I just want to go in and rest. I will not leave this place until you tell me what the problem is. Sister, stay out of this. Ine, did you just say that to me? Yes, I did. And that's exactly what would happen. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Please, my love. I need you to understand that your husband is tired. Okay? Just let me go. 
Even if you want to talk, maybe not now. And I might beg you, let me through, please. How do you been for? Eh? You just go back from work. Allow him have a shower, rest, then you can have this conversation. I told him to get him in a But he wouldn't let me. That's why I decided to have that discussion here and now. Okay. My father is trying to frustrate my life. I mean, he's trying to make everything difficult for me. If I had known this is the reason he called me, babes, I will come back. Trust me. He's still your father, no matter what. Don't talk about him like that. Imagine my father trying to force me to marry a man he recommended for me. Who does that? Am I still a baby? <laughs> Must it be the man? Exactly. Because you're so matured now to choose who you want to marry. Exactly what I told him. As a matter of fact, I am deeply involved with the guy. Hey. As I speak with you, Amara, he already asked me when he's going to come and see my people. Then you should tell your father about it. So he stopped asking you to marry someone he wants you to marry. I've done that several times. But he refused to listen to me. I don't know what to do again. Why is he so insistent? What is in the bag? What's so special about this person that he wants you? to marry. The only meaningful and special thing about this particular man is that he was chosen by the gods to be the next king of this kingdom. Little did he know that I don't, I don't even have interest in all those positions mm. and... Wait. I'm just tired. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say the king, the chosen king? Yes. Whoa, baby girl! <laughs> That's a big thing. What? Are you, are you kidding me? Listen, girl, do you know what is in the bag? Do you know what you are winning? What? If you marry this man and he becomes a king, you automatically become the most powerful woman in this kingdom. Not only that, you become the second most powerful human being in this kingdom. How, how do you mean? The revenge position of the queen of this kingdom will so much power, with so much authority and affluence. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about financial power. I'm talking about connections. I'm talking about protocol. Name it! Mama, you, I mean, you don't decide me, Nabi. Yeah, you decide me. Ah. <laughs> Hi, oh. <laughs> Do I look like I'm joking? Huh? Do I look like I'm joking? See, all the queens in this kingdom are worshipped like goddess due to the power they control. Every woman, almost every woman in this kingdom is going to worship you like a goddess. What? Are you being serious? <laughs> I know what told me about all of this. Now I'm telling you, this opportunity of a lifetime, grab it. You mean in control of the whole kingdom? And I am going to worship you. <laughs> So, you should get into the palace. Well, now it's making a lot of sense to me. So that I can get a position. Do you Just calm do you down. Let me get in what there. I'm saying. Go. Don't, don't, don't lose it. I swear. This is a big fish. Oh, oh, oh. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> the, 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 the queen! Made it. Why not eating? Are you waiting for me? I will. Hey. What's with the straight face? What's the problem? What are you going to eat?
What is wrong? Papa, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? My sister feels you keeping secrets away from her, so she's, she's... That is ridiculous. Keeping secrets? I'm not keeping... Of course you know I'm not keeping secrets from her. Uncle, if you're not keeping secrets from her, then tell her now. She's a woman. Call her. Tell her. Explain things to her so that she will understand better. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I. Oh, I am Ayo I am Ayo I am Ayo My love oh, Please, I would like to talk to you You wanted to keep it to yourself, so let it remain that way I don't, don't, don't see it that way, it's just that I'm I just have a lot on my mind, you know I'm confused and I'm, I'm battling with so much. You know, it's just something that I, I felt I could handle, but right now it's it's choking me out. I don't know what to do anyway. I have to talk to you. Chokoka. Yes. I am your wife. I know. If there is anything, you should confide in me. I am under immense pressure by the orders to take a second wife if I must ascend to the throne of easy working. What? It is said that a woman married into a zira from another tribe cannot, cannot be crowned queen in my land. Hi! Hey! Yami! So this is the answer to that dream I had staring me right in the face. Baby, please. You are going to be the one to cast me out? What? No. You know, you know me. You, you, you know, you know that, that is never ever. It will never happen. I know I'll... exactly what I'm talking about. I Kinsman. won't do that to you. I know what I'm talking about. Kinsmen, family, friends no. will begin to put you under pressure. And it will just be a matter of time. You will succumb to their pressure. No. Oh. No. Inem, I love you. I love you. You are my wife. I would never share my bed or my body with another woman. That, that's, the, that's a promise I made to you when you accepted to marry me, you know, and I'm going to stand on that promise. Hi! Please. I'm asking me. Ina, please. Oh, God. I, I, I didn't see this coming. Ina. I didn't mean it that I'm out. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Please come. Oh, but he, ah. No, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> please. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, I'm never going to marry another woman. I promise you. Okay? I love you. Stop crying. Stop. 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 You're breaking my heart. Stop. 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 I will not do it. I will not do it. Oh, Matty. I will not do it. Oh, Matty. I will not do it. Yeho. 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 She is the chosen queen of a Zira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can stop me. I am. She is the chosen queen of a Zira kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am no one can stop me. I am oh I, I oh, oh, oh I am Ayo I am Ayo. 
if you marry this man and he becomes the king, you automatically become the most powerful woman in this kingdom. Not only that, you become the second most powerful human being in this kingdom. If all that I might said to me is true, then I will give it a try. Because I cannot wait to prance around the entire village in absolute power, command people around, and then world great influence. That has always been the kind of life I want for myself. And it's here knocking on my door. All I have to do is to grab it with all my heart. Yeah. Hi. She's the chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can stop me. I am. She's the chosen queen I of am. Ezira kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I. I oh, oh, oh. I am. Hey, oh. I am. Hey, oh. I am. Hey, oh. I am. Hey, oh. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hey, oh. I am. Yes, it I can be your dear queen, chosen by the gods. What day what is it? Nothing. Sister, nothing. But your face looks heavy. I just want to sit here and relax. Make up. After which I would join my husband. Sister. Even if you want to tell lies, will you tell lies to your sister? Everything is not okay with you. Can you just let me in, please? Sister. My marriage is about to collapse. What? How? Everything that I have built in my marriage and my relationship with my husband is about to collapse like a pack of cards. You're getting me confused. What is going on? Ex explain to me, please. All right. C calm down. O okay? His people are insisting that he should take another wife before he can ascend the throne. Take another wife? An another wife? Why is that? Any woman that is married into this land from another tribe has never risen to the level of queen. And they say, it is not going to start with me. Wow. That is what they say, right? Yes, it could be true. But sister, there is always an end to everything. Seeking to enthrone that end could lead to his death. And I am not ready to lose my husband. I'm not. Sister, calm down. Your husband. You're not going to lose your husband. As a matter of fact, from what he has been saying continuously, he's not ready to take another wife. Your husband is even ready to relinquish the position because of you. <sighs> and that makes you excited. Why would my marriage to my husband be the reason that he cannot become king? I'm worried. I'm Sister. extremely worried Sister, and calm. that is what I need you to understand. Calm down. Please. Mom. Okay. Why the 
special love Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth. The gods have spoken, so you have to conquer. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth. The choice of the gods, nobody can twist you. Have to conquer. There will be nothing good about this money until you are agreed to marry Shukuka. Ah, oh, Papa. I am not joking about this. I am not joking because this is a lifetime opportunity and I will not allow you to throw it away. Papa, you're right. Now I understand all you've been saying all this while. Yes. I went to your room to inform you that I've decided to marry him. But you were not there. Oh. Yes. True daughter of the land. Did you just say that? Yes, Papa, you heard me right. Firstly, I want to make you proud as my father. And secondly, I want to contribute to the welfare of my people through quality leadership. Yes. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I hope you have not come to me this morning with some kind of jokes. But I am not joking. How could I joke with such a thing? Throughout the night, I didn't sleep. I thought about everything you've been saying to me, Papa. And I've come to the conclusion that this is the best thing for me to do. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Ichi Mbono must hear this. Why is he born? He's a strong man in the council. You will soon get to meet him. Okay. Yes. No way. Let me go out. Yes. Ah, uh, Papa. Huh? You're not going with your car. No, I don't want to go with the car because I don't like the condition of the tires. Oh. Okay. Let me go and change and go to where I want to go. As long as there is power and wealth to be controlled, I am ready to be the king. Who can question the opinion of the gods? I only for the Kwangwa Lebe. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Sister, good morning. Good morning. Why are you looking for Uncle this early? Did you see him? That's the question. Uh, no. Is he not in your bedroom? No. Okay. He should be in the compound. Just check for me. Maybe. Okay. okay. I'm coming. Oh. Amen. 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 Jehovah Amen. Nobody can question you have to conquer. Oh, what a bounty, man! Never listen to someone who abandons. Oh, go continue. Now look if any do be high. Who can question the opinion of the gods? His car is not here. That means he went out with his car. Where did he go to? And he didn't tell me he was going anywhere. You mean he opened the gate, drove his car out, and closed the gate again, and I didn't notice? Why are you fighting 
someone chosen by the gods. Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop. Darlene, thank you so, so much. Um, without wasting much of your time, we all know that the queenship of this kingdom is up for grabs. And since Idara, the wife of Chukuka, is not qualified for that position, I... I am interested in becoming the queen of this land. <laughs> nice one. May the gods grant your heart desires. <laughs> but I want you to know that it is no longer in the hands of the gods, but rather it's in our hands. Okay? If I emerge as the queen, of this kingdom. I want you all to know that you will be part of the government. And each of you will be beneficiaries. Personally, I am solidly behind you. I don't know about others. Same here. Same here. And we know that we have a lot to gain and enjoy. My queen. You have my full support in this. Just one question I have for you. Okay. How do we all be in support of you? Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Calm down. What kind of support do you want from us? Yes. I will tell you when the time is right. Okay. Yeah. okay. But for now, calm down. Yeah. Dalono. Yeah. Thank you for giving me this. Who does Chiazo come think she is? All of a sudden she wants to become queen. Not minding that we already have a chosen king. I think the best thing to do from now is to start avoiding her. <laughs> Thank God that I meet you here. I was actually on my way to your place. <sighs> so why are you running? Bono, you will not believe this. What I've been planning for a very long time has just clicked. And I want you to assist me to make it a reality. So what could that be? Hey, believe me or not, my daughter Ekema has accepted to marry Shukuka. And I want you to help me hmm, make this one to work through. Is that all? Oh, that is all. And I promise you that once it becomes a reality at the end of the day, oh, you will be adequately rewarded. <laughs> well, you are my very good friend. And at this point, I have no choice 
Don't to stand by you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are friends for? Thank you very much. God bless you. It's okay. Uh, you, you know what will happen? What? We'll go to a place where we can celebrate this. Oh! Nice. <laughs> Let's go and look for a very good place to it's, celebrate this. It's all right. Let's go. <laughs> Your arrival at the board of the guards is untimely and earlier. May I hear your reason? I have come to formally tell you, as I said, that I am no longer interested in becoming king of Ezra Kingdom. This is the same one of Anunuebe. That was handed to me the day my selection was ratified by you. I hereby return it to his house. Chukuka, why are you doing this? I'm doing this because I have been told that to ascend the throne and become king of this kingdom that I must marry a second wife. And that woman shall become queen by my side while my wife, Hidara, Becomes a nobody. Ezra Lucy. Idara has been my wife for so many years. She is my life. She is my primary responsibility, and every other thing is secondary. This is new in our history. This is new in our history, Chukuka. Why do you want to denounce the pronouncement made upon you by the gods? A pronouncement made by the gods upon your life. Why do you want to denounce it because of a woman? Idara is not just a woman, as I'll say. Idara is everything to me. She is my wife. She is my mother. She is my sister. She is the love of my life. She is my everything. And how is you becoming the king? of Ezra Kingdom, going to destroy your marriage with her. Me taking another wife will destroy my marriage. Me taking another wife will be me betraying the love and the promise that I share with my wife, Idara. I have spent half of my life with that woman. She has stood by me every step of the way, I cannot abandon her because of kingship. Is Alose? I do not pray that it befalls my sister. Neither would I pray that it befalls another man's daughter that I have taken as my wife. I have decided to choose family over kingship. When you raise a stick to hit on the ground, first and foremost, show it to the sky. Chukuka, I advise you to go home. Go home and think. Think. Think about it over and over again. There is nothing to think about, Izalosi. My mind is made up. I have made my decision and there is no going back. The gods have chosen you to be the new king and you cannot run away from that. I am not running away. I am only running away from troubles with the people of Ezira that have refused to understand that my wife is human and should be treated as human. I beg to take my leave, Isabel. I can readily see the reason the gods chose him. Do you still belong to this place? And cannot for any reason marry another woman. I love Idara. As for the kingship, another person can take it, provided I get to live in peace with my lovely wife. 
I build the family of my dreams. Royalty is good, but royalty is not everything. Idara may be from Uyo, yes, but we have been through a lot together. And I cannot just throw her away simply because my people want me to be king. That will be wickedness and selfishness. I will not do it. Who can question the opinion of the gods? I only for the kwangwa the bell. Oh, yeah. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. And embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. God has spoken. So you have to conquer. You have to conquer. Stop the fighting, Stop the fighting. and embrace the truth. The choice of the gods, nobody can question. You have to conquer. Okwa kwa banti monora, ebo listen to solo na banana. Oko kanti ke, na no ki feni to fi. Who can question? The opinion of the gods, I only for the kwangwa the bell. Oh, yeah. Joking. I'm serious. You mean you want to throw away royalty just because of a woman? A woman that is not even from our land. A good woman that is not from our land, but she's a good woman. A good woman is one that you can find anywhere. Where she comes from does not define her character. My wife has been a blessing to me and I am not going to throw her away because of royalty. How about her? Huh? My, 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 my family is in a bit of chaos because of royalty and the only way to, to, to ensure that there is peace and you know, get us back on track. Is to denounce my my interest. I believe that woman has given you something to eat, because no man in his right senses will do what you just did. I did what I did because I do not want anything to come between me and the love of my life, Idara. Has love ever achieved anything for you all your life? Yes. Love has given me peace of mind. Show me a greater achievement. I believe I did not come here to fight. Neither would I like to be cross-examined by you. I came here to tell you as a good friend that I have made a decision and I'm not going back on it. <laughs> Trust me, you will change your mind on that decision. 
I am going to use the youths of this kingdom to force your brain back to normal. Uh, Odilube, you are not going to gather the youth of our kingdom and make me your topic. I have come to talk to you in private. You are going to respect that privacy. The very moment you became the chosen of the gods, you lost your privacy. You are now a public figure. And you have given us a topic to discuss for a very long time. finally indicate interest in taking a second wife? He did not. But from the look of things, he needs to marry a second wife who is from this land in order to be able to ascend the throne. Like I said before, the decision of a man to take a wife, whether first wife, second wife, or even the third wife, is the man's decision to make, not a decision somebody else will make for him. Does it mean we, we, we didn't get that? Well, no dispute about that. But in this case, we are speaking with you because we are somebody who has a great influence upon the young man. And we believe that if you speak with him, you will be able to influence his decision. You cannot influence a man when it comes to marriage. Marriage is like cold water that a child pours on himself. If the water is so cold, the child will not make any noise. He will find a way to organize himself because he was the one who poured the water on himself. But make the mistake of pouring that water on that child and see how the child will cry. I don't know if you understand what I am trying to say here. Uh, yes, we, I do. Good. So, what do you have to say about his ascending the throne with a total stranger, a woman from another land as the queen? Well, the gods of this land chose him to ascend that throne. He did not. Choose himself. We must have to be very careful. Let it not appear as if we are trying to assist the gods in doing what they are supposed to be doing as the gods. They knew from the very beginning that Sukuka married a woman from outside this kingdom and still they chose him. Can we please allow the gods to finish what they have started? Can we stop interfering? Why are we holding a lot of meetings? Stop the fight and embrace the truth and trace the truth. Choice of the gods. Nobody can question have to comply. Okwakwa Banti Monora. Ever listen to Solon Abandonance. Oko Kanti Kay. What is it now? I was on my way to your house. I want to see you. Now you've seen me, so what's your problem? My dear queenship is for the tested and trusted. People like me. <laughs> so back off. So you're already agitated because I am in. What business do I have with you? I can see you have a sharp mouth. But well, thank your stars because I am in a very good mood today. So I am not here to banter words with you. I want you to delete the idea of becoming queen. 
and support me. And when I win, I will make you one of the maidens or better still the chief cook. You know how to cook, right? <laughs> Oh my God, wow. You, you know, you had always been a dreamer. And um, <clears throat> that was how you decided to run for the presidency of um, a Zira Women Wing Progressive Union. You messed it up at the end of the day. Nah, it is idiocy to compare royalty with a mere classless progressive union. Okay, where are they now? Is the union not destroyed? You destroyed it. You destroyed it. I don't know, how or do you think a tozzy character like you could ever emerge as the queen of this kingdom? Who does that? Oh, please, just get out of my sight. I advise you queue behind me. Um, <laughs> just take a look at me. I, Ekema, I stand a better chance than you. All Chubuka has to do is get married to me and I automatically become the queen. You are married already, so I believe you cannot leave your husband for Chukuka. Right? I guess you do not know Chukuka is married. Oh. This is the marriage that disqualified him. The only thing for him to do is getting a second wife. And that second wife has to be me. If you can't deal with that, just look for a transformer and, and um, just Hug it. Obviously, you do not know that Chukuka just denounced becoming the king of his zero kingdom. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, all you have to do is go and verify. I do not lie. Go and verify and then do something meaningful with your life. Or better still, go back to the city where you came from. <laughs> Don't tell me this is true. No, no, no. Don't tell me Chubuka has decided to back down now that I'm interested. It's not true. He cannot denounce becoming the king now that I'm interested. Why are you stopping me from going to the police station to make a report? Sister, not just yet. Come Why? On. Look, it is still very early. A person can only be considered missing after 72 hours. Are you kidding me? That I should wait for 72 hours before saying my husband is nowhere to be found? Oh, sister, that's what the law says. The law says nothing. It's my husband we're talking about. Brother, you... brother, welcome. Inen. Inen. Hey. Inen. Mm, sweetheart. Should you tell me you were going out? I'm sorry. I just had to run out very early. What did you go to do? I went to see the chief priest. I told him explicitly that I'm no longer interested in the kingship. You finally did that? Why? Because I do not want to take a second wife. That's why. You did that because of me? I did that because of our love. I am committed to loving you for the rest of our lives. When I met her, fell in love with you and decided to spend the rest of my life with you, taking a second wife was never part of the bargain. I am not going to jeopardize what we have in him because of mere kingship. It can mean a lot to a lot of people. I understand that, but you mean the world to me. And I'm not going to disrupt the love and the peace that we have here because of kingship. I'm tired. Please, can I go upstairs and freshen up? I don't know how, how to feel. I don't know whether I should be excited or I should be sad. He just declined being a king because of me. Sister, aren't you lucky? I've never seen this kind of love. She's the chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can 
and stop me. I am. She's the chosen queen of the zero kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I. I oh, oh, oh. I am. Ayo. I am. Ayo. I am. Ayo. What is this doing here? I told Ezalo say expressly that I'm no longer interested in being king. What is this doing here? I have done my best. Yes. I'm just leaving everything in the hands of God to perfect. And what can I do? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation, Lord? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting. The truth is, the truth has broken. Guess who is? Well, you know, I am not good at guessing. I'll try. You have perfected all the plans to become the new queen of Ezra Kingdom. Well, that's part of it. But that's not the major reason I am happy. Well, I've tried. So, break the good news. Okay. <clears throat> Obi. Yes. I was reliably informed that Chukuka just rejected becoming the king. Mm-hmm. I did not hear what you said. I said Chukuka just rejected becoming the king. In Ikuzuku. Is you? Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Hi! Wait. Mm -hmm. Did he give any reason why he declined? Ah, oh, he said he's not ready to marry his second wife. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I will move with full force. Full force? Yeah? Nothing is stopping us. Chapadoko. Full force. <laughs> <laughs> I will fully take what rightfully belongs to me. Yes. You see this life? Mm-hmm. Only did you hear what I will hear again? I can't afford your phone. I will wait to what I will hear. Yeah. 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 Hi. God. <laughs> Gods of Ezra Kingdom, mm -hmm. thank you for making today come. Ever since I was born, I've always had it in me that one day I will be the king of this land. Growing up, I've always had this dream that one day I will ascend the throne of Ezra Kingdom. Thank you for making this dream come true. Hi! <laughs> My lovely wife. Oh, babe. You know, I can't thank you enough for your efforts, your resilience to making this dream come true. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Once you are happy, I am happy. I mean, look at you. Just nene go do dim. Hey! A food dim, ba. A food gonna give me a. O fo nya na ju na biala. Okay, well, Just yeah. look at my husband. Okay, well, yeah, well. In well, yeah. Fulu kong. O bim. Eh? Tia roba. O bim. In well, yeah. 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 In well, did he tell you why he came to see you? Chukuka came to my place to tell me that he is no longer interested in becoming the king. What? Why? He said he has been under pressure. Whose pressure? Yes, he said he has been under pressure 
to get a second wife. That he is being pressurized to get a second wife before he could ascend the throne. And I want to find out from you people, who amongst you is the one pressurizing him for a second wife? Wise one. Nobody is pressurizing him to get a second wife. He was only told the obvious. The obvious? Yes. Which is? We all know the position of our tradition as it concerns queenship in our land. No woman from outside, a foreigner, has ever been a queen in our kingdom. It's only full-blooded daughters of this land that can become queen in this land. That is where the issue of a second wife comes in. You think you know all this more than the gods? No, I mean, you think your knowledge of queenship and the land and culture and everything supersedes that of the gods? I... Don't you think that the gods are aware of his marriage with Idara? I... Wise one. But the gods are already aware of his marriage with the woman of you. And I mean, but... but uh... There is no but. No but. You people should be concerned with how to make him a king. Coronate him, let him become the new king of the kingdom. That is all you are supposed to be busy with. You people were so urgent in bringing a DBFA for further consultation. Because you were actually looking for fault against him. You were searching for abominations which you can hold in order to disqualify him from ascending the throne. But the gods are always wise. Why did you stop at that? There are so many other things you can equally do. Ah, uh, wise one. We are already doing all those things that are expected of us. Very, very well. The truth is that we only wanted to tie up the loose ends. That is all. Mm. Yes. In your dream, or in your attempt to tie up the loose ends, let the issue of second wife be buried. If the gods say otherwise before the coronation, I will not hesitate to inform you. When you came back earlier, I noticed you were very angry. So I decided to give you some space. But I think this is the right time to bring up this conversation. Is it okay? Can I talk to you? Yes, baby, you can talk to me. And I want you to know that no matter how angry I get, I will never pass up the chance to listen to you. Thank you for that. Were you joking when you said you were no longer interested in becoming king? I was not joking. I made it very clear to the chief priest. And he understood exactly what I was saying. So, when did you take that decision and why did you act without informing me? I told you that I love my wife and that I'm never going to share my bed with another woman. In him, I mean those words. I know you love me quite all right, and that means what you're saying is true. But you have just complicated everything. It's like 
placing me before the firing squad. How? When you were chosen to become the king, you had people who supported you. You gathered a lot of fans. Now, those people will automatically feel that I am the one who asked you to step down. I thought we agreed in this family to stop bothering ourselves about other people's opinion. In him we did, but not in this contest. When you're dealing with people, you have to be really careful. And the problem at hand is about the people. Baby, you know that we used to be very good in this family. Before all of these royal engagements came up. How about us? Can we talk about us? Can we go back to how we used to be? But the gods, why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No? Why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. The gods have spoken. So you have to conquer, have to conquer. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. How are you? Papa, I am not fine, no. I am not fine. That's a problem. Papa, tell me the truth. Is it true that the choosing king is married? <laughs> is that why you are worried? Come and sit down. I am not sitting down. Oh, yes. He's married. Papa, how do you think this will work? How? Is this why you are worried? Come on, come and sit down. Let me tell you. Come and sit down. Let me tell you. Come, come over. Come and sit down. Sit down. Uh -huh. See, you don't have to be worried, okay? Once you are married to him, his first wife automatically becomes the wife of his youth. And you are sent the throne with him as the queen of the kingdom. <laughs> Papa, hmm? let me ask you this question. Okay. How do you think this woman is Christian? We agreed to be a second wife in her own husband's house. <laughs> oh. There are men who own all the kingdoms. You see, a woman from Uyo has no say in what we have decided as men in council. Well, now it's appearing to me as if we are oppressing this woman. And I don't like it. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Honestly. My daughter. See, the woman in question is not from our tribe. Hmm? And no woman from another tribe has ever been a queen in our kingdom. Oh. And it will not start in our time. Do you understand that? We have discussed with the young man and he has agreed to do the needful. So, <laughs> my daughter, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing at all at all to worry about. Papa, are you sure? Oh, very, very sure. If I am not sure, I wouldn't be telling you. <sighs> Papa, hmm? another thing. Okay. What's the interest of Chan Zokam in this whole thing? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey. She wants to become the queen of the kingdom through the husband. Even before the gods made their choice, she has gone around the whole community announcing that the gods will choose her husband and she will be the next queen of the kingdom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Papa, hmm? she accosted me today saying that I should queue behind her to support her to be the next queen of Ezira Kingdom. 
She, hey. is, she must be stupid saying that. But she is, oh. Um, what did you tell her? Uh uh. Papa, trust me. Papa. Yes. I told her that I am the next queen of the Zira Kingdom. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You are the next queen of this kingdom, and nothing stops her. Papa. <laughs> That's my daughter. Yes. Paragon of beauty. Next queen. Of this kingdom. Of this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> my love. Amen. Amen. Please, I beg you. You need to go back to the chief priest and tell him that you're still interested in becoming king. I don't know why you're this way now. I don't know why you're doing this. You once suggested this to me. I didn't analyze it properly then. I don't, I don't, what, what, what did you not analyze? My love, please, now I have analyzed it properly and I understand that it is going to be very tough if you maintain your stand. Please, it's just to go back to the chief priest and let him know that you're still interested in becoming king. I beg you. Amen. Please. I'm sorry, my darling, but I cannot do it. You know what? I grant you permission to take a second wife. You have my permission. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. How can you? Why would you say that to me? Imam, how can you say that to me? It's not all about taking a second wife. Then what is it all about? It's about peace of mind. In you, I have found peace. In you, I have found true love, and I'm not going to destroy all of that. All because of kingship. No, I will not do it. Imam, I promise you, I am going to give you peace. I will make that woman my friend. I will make this house very peaceful. This house will be the most peaceful home that you have ever and experienced. I am not going to have a second one. Abba when you have to keep this discussion very brief so I can proceed to where I was going. Well, Ichi, I don't intend to keep you here for more than three minutes. That would be nice. So, why did you request to see me? I want to become king. And I want you to help me actualize it. Why are you sounding like this? Ichi, I might sound strange. Yes, but that's what I want. And I need you to help me actualize it. Tell me what it will take you to support me. Name your price, and I'll bring it to the table. From the way you just sounded, it uh, appears you are not a good student of history. Why do you say so? Were you not there when the gods chose Chukuka to be king? But Chukuka declined. Yes, I was there when he was chosen by the gods. But that same person that was chosen by the gods declined. Yes, so that's why I want to take it upon myself to be, and I need your support. Well, I'm not aware he declined. Well, come on, Ichi, let's not lie about this little thing. You are fully aware. You see, I need you to support me. And I promise you that when I ascend the throne, you'll be well compensated. It's alright. You have to give me some time so I can think about it. 
Well, that's okay. Take your time. After all, it is the right thing to do. Think about it and get back to me. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I have to be on my way now. It's okay. As you know. Are you not as old? Or do you want to of a Zira kingdom? Why are you keeping quiet over this? You know what to do to end all this. Well, mortals will not appreciate the powers of the ancestors if they are not allowed to explore their vanities. I mean, make fools of themselves for a very long time and finally come to term with realism. That's what I'm doing. Why waiting for that? Chukuka might be broken and that will spell doom for the people of this kingdom. So what are you advising me to do? Tell them the truth. Tell them that the woman he married properly and named her his wife can ascend the throne as the queen of this kingdom. There is a problem. The kingdom is now very charged. You will have won up now. People are angry. There is no way I can actually tell you. In fact, there is no space for me to even say that to anybody. Tell them the truth. Let the gods take it off from there. There is something I need to discuss with you. I should be asked, you're not supposed to go. Now that I have attracted your visit, you should come, let us discuss certain things. It was indeed a trance. Ezudu is appearing after so many years. This is indeed a very serious issue. Very serious. To you, stop looking around. Mama, yes, you. <laughs> hey, Ngwana, what is it? I am warning you. A direct warning from Chief Ogo. Stay away from my daughter. Arona don't know what it is. What are you saying? Is there is a my friend? Go and tell your daughter to stay away from me. Can you imagine? You are married, and you are supposed to be happy in your husband's house, not to be throwing stones anyhow. No, if you go near Akita, your daughter Wakasi go away in a city. Yes, she has finished her life in the city, and here you are looking for a husband to marry her. Hey, <laughs> Dagonu, Chukuka will never marry your daughter. And how's that be your business? Why won't it be my business? How is that your business? No, why won't it be my business? Tell me, why will it not be my business? Chukuka has made it very, very open that he does not want to be king. Okay. My husband, hey, Odogu, Odogu, mm. Odogu mm. Abangwe, mm. one mm. of Ezira kingdom, mm. is willing to be the king. So I advise you, Okopa now Gofe, when next you want to talk to me, talk to me with some degree of respect. I am the queen. Designate. Are you done? Get this to you that your little score. Over my dead body, except I, Chief Uguru, is not alive. That is where your husband will become a king. 
He will never become the king of this kingdom. You just said over your dead body and it will be over your dead and Your husband body. will never become the king oh, really? of this kingdom. Are I am Chief Ogoro saying it. Are you threatening us? Oh, oh, oh. Threat. Threatening who? You or your husband? Listen. You and your husband put together or individually. Or you look for others in addition to yourselves are too small for me, Chief Ogoro, to threaten. So now get it very clear into your skull that should anybody, I mean, any idiot misbehave, I will deal with that person ruthlessly. Get a knock on my nonny way. He will cop a now, he will not cop a roller. That is what you are. You know what? You just declared war. And my Odugu and I will be so glad to go to that war with you. Oh, you mentioned war, and here is it. Take it. You have the war. You wait for the war. And you have wait the war. Wait for the war. Now get out from no here. No matter what you do, I must become the queen of Ezira Kingdom. And it will never happen. I, Shifogoro, is stating it here categorically that you will never become the queen. Because of she didn't get she said that. Get out from here. She didn't get this up, Old man, dirty man, look at him. Tell him man. Get away from here. Hey, hey, look, look at Get away from here! Come I will away. become you king, whether you like it or not. Stupid old Please. man, who, who, look at him. Is this the old man? Is this the body? Okay, is this the body that wants to become oh, a queen? Look, look, look at. Honestly, Robert, you are following my hand. Uh, uh, um, Jessica, again, uh, um, is your friend, and you know everything about her. She traveled to the village, and I've been trying to reach her. She is not taking my calls. And you haven't figured out why? You are bigger than this, Robert. I don't understand. Why does it appear to me as if there is something you are trying to say to me? Can you confirm it? Is it what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. And I cannot confirm what I know nothing about. A man of your caliber should not be disturbing himself over a babe who don't want to pick his cause. Uh, Jessica, you, you know that I love your friend so much, eh? And it is not as easy as you think. I love her and I love her so much. Spare me that shit, Robert. You love her yet you don't know anything about her. You love her and you don't know the name of her village. We were getting ready to go there before your friend travel. I only managed to reach her the day she arrived at her village. Ever since then, I've been calling your friend, but she's not taking my calls. And you still haven't figured out? Listen, Robert. Don't come to this place again to disturb my peace. What, what, what the hell is going on? I am done with you. What is going on? Jessica! Hi! Could it be what I'm thinking? Uh, Jessica! Hey! Chikoka, we will just go straight to the point, as our visit is a short one. Uh, before we get into the crux of the matter, can I at least, you know, um, have them bring some refreshment? Oh, Anything at all you want. Thank you very much. Uh, see this beautiful lady here? This is the shirt we made for you. So we brought her to you so that the two of you can start getting acquainted with each other. If possible, she can move into your house as a wife to start preparing the coronation as the daughter of the soil. Yeah. Pending when you will officially come to marry her as a wife. My orders. Why will you make this move? I made it very clear that I'm no longer interested and becoming king. Oh, come on. No man turns down the shirts of the gods. I knew you were joking. Were you I was that? not joking. It was a hard decision to make. I thought long and hard about it, and I made that decision for my own peace of mind. Do you realize we are talking about the throne of Ezra Kingdom? I know that we are talking about the throne of Ezra Kingdom, but like I said, I thought long and hard about it before I made a decision. If 
for my own good, for the peace of my household. So please, if I have nothing else to talk about, I'll suggest that you get up and leave my house. That's an insult on our personality. It's also an insult to bring this girl into my home. It is disrespect to me, disrespect to my wife. Please, leave. Chikuga, don't do something you will regret later. Please, leave my house. Yeah, sure, we will leave. But let me tell you, next time we will come, it wouldn't be this friendly. Come on, let us go. Come on. He will regret it. See, listen. Don't worry yourself. Eh? Don't worry yourself. Everything will still turn out good. I will let him know that we are the owners of this kingdom. Whatever we decide is what happens. Well, that, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't happy. worry. Don't. So what do we do? I expected this, but it will never ever distract me. I think this is not ordinary. Yes. Are you in any way saying that she may have given him something to eat? Something like that? Women of her kind can be so deadly if they decide to hold any man. But trust me in this, if even the young man has been under the influence of anything. From that very moment, the gods chose him. The sham is broken and he becomes a free man. Are you by any way insinuating he is in love? Oh yes. The young man is in love. And that ruthless thing called love is what we are up against. Who can save the man in love? That means we have a very big mountain to climb. Oh, yes. But you see this mountain? We will climb it. We shall surmount this mountain. And that reminds me. What is it? Abawe met me yesterday. Mm -hmm. He offered me money to help him become king. Mm. Yes. And what did you do? Did you collect the money? I did not. I trust you. That boy is stupid. He will never become the king of this kingdom. Not when I'm alive. He's stupid. Impossible. He cannot. He can't. Amen. 
challenging those elders to their faces isn't what you should do. They deserve what they got, okay? They deserve what they got. They cannot come in here and, and insult me. They are elders of our land. And under no circumstance should you treat them that way. What, what, you know, what is going on? Are you... These men came here to insult me. Are you, t are, you taking, are you taking sides? I am not. All I'm saying is that they are men in council and you shouldn't be having issues. If they are men in council, then let them face their council matters. And leave me alone. Let them allow me. Have, do you know what those men came here to tell me? I know. They brought a girl for you to get married. Ridiculous! Inem, Inem, listen. You have my permission. Go ahead and let us just solve this matter once and for all. Marry Inem, the girl. Inem, listen to me. I never wanted your permission. I don't need it. Because I'm not ever going to consider that option. I'm not taking another wife. I am just a harmless woman from Uyo. Eh? I don't want you to have issues because of me. Please. That's how you see it, so be it. I gave you my word when I married you. When I fell in love with you, I told you that I am going to be with you and by you forever. And I am sticking to that promise. Amen. If they kill you, would you still be alive to love me? Please, listen to me. Mbok, ina mesan mbok, kunam non tua yen mbok, bek bek ye. Mbok ima, amekup, amekup sentang, ima mbok. Oh, mbok, pahutong nomian, amekup. Why are you shouting my name like that? And why are you running as if something is after you? Nothing is after me. Just that something against your wish is about to happen. Eh? <laughs> what is it? It's your girl has taken his daughter Kemma to Chukokaza for introduction. That is nonsense. I'm telling you, around rubbish. No, he can't do that. We will not allow him to do that. We will frustrate all his efforts. He can't do that and go scot-free. No. How? So, what are you going to do now? Because you can't just sit like this and watch him, you know, succeed. I can't stand here now and tell you what we are going to do. I'll have to process this information you just gave me. Okay? Whatever plans you want to come up with, that's because I can't afford to lose you becoming the queen. My darling, thank you very much. Okay? Thank you for your goodwill. Alright? I will become the queen of this land. And I know that you and my other friends will rule this kingdom with me. Hey. Thank you very much. I know that when you become the queen, at least then we're gonna have a turn. Don't fail. Try and come up with something. Because if you keep quiet, I won't keep quiet. Don't worry. Let me go. Oh, one them. Oh, one them. Bye bye. Try and come up with one big plan. I will. Greet your children. Oh, that one them. Hey! Oh, Goro Kwasi. Hey! Ichi, oh, Goro. Kam Gaya. Huh? Oh, Goro, Ibu no fen kupu. Ibu o fen kupu. Gim waka uberi isi ke ha. I know what to do to you. I know exactly what to do to you. Ti kwam kwam. Waka chelo. So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. Because the truth. has spoken, yes, I have to conquer. Have to conquer. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting.
should I do here now? Huh? I don't understand. What do you mean by what am I doing here? I have been calling you a line and you're not begging my cause. My phone is no good. It developed for so it's not working. I, I, I don't understand. Why do you sound as if you're not happy to see me here? I thought you should be hugging me by now. <laughs> my father won't be happy to see you here. Please, can we just enter the car? Let's go somewhere else and talk. Please. Uh, wait, wait, eh? wait, wait. Why won't he be happy to see me here? Uh, no, uh, uh, give, me, give me one reason why your father will not be happy to see the money man in this company. But there's no time for this argument. Let's just go somewhere else and talk. Please now. Please. Um, eh? uh, okay. Um, so, where do you want us to go? Just drive, I will show you. Oh. <coughs> I, I have been calling you a line. I can waste your life to conquer. Oh, what a panty monora. Never listen to solo na bananas. Oh, kokonti kei. Na no ki feni to be high. Who can question the opinion of the gods? I onya for the kwangwa lebe o. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon, Ebu Messenger. How are you today? I'm fine, Chief. Thank you. There are some individuals I wanted to go and fetch for me. Ishi Ogoro, Ishi Mbono, Ishi Azakama, and Chukwuka. I believe you know how to locate them? Yes, I know how to locate them, Chief. Let them know that the meeting I speak of must hold today, so they have to make themselves available. All right, Chief. I'll do as you said. What's the problem? Um, Robert, I don't know how you're going to see this, but that's exactly the truth. You are not saying anything. <sighs> well, I've been choosing to serve the deity of our land. What? Yes, I know you're going to be shocked. Of course. I was shocked the day I was informed. I pleaded with them to give it to someone else, but they said no. That is something I was born with. Uh, uh, my love, we can still marry. I will allow you to serve the deity of your people. Anyone who is chosen by the gods cannot marry. Uh, yes. Uh, it, 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 yeah. it is not true. I have no reason to lie to you. I've, I've given up already. Uh, my love, uh, that means throwing away everything we shared. Exactly what it is. Uh, but my love, we can't run far away to a place where no one will see us. It is not possible. Uh, my love, it is very much possible. Eh? Let us run away from where nobody will see us, including the gods. We'll just settle down there. Nobody will. <laughs> we'll just go there and settle down and all this is will end. Robert, the eyes of the gods are everywhere. They will certainly fish us out. There's nothing you or I can do about this. Uh, my love, listen, yes. uh, listen, let me tell you something. The eyes of the gods are not in Dubai. Uh, the eyes of the gods are not in Thailand or USA or even uh, uh, Australia. Let us run far away to a place where none of them will even... My love, let us run far away where they will not even see us. We will settle down there and all this will end. Please. Robert, my... you are not getting a thing here. There's nothing you or I could do about it. The, their eyes are everywhere. You're not getting, you're talking about the deity of our land. Okay, so uh, uh, what do you want me to do now, my love? Exactly what I've been asking myself. Where do I go from here? 
<laughs> Sweetheart, you know that I love you. I can't, I can't afford to lose you because of the eyes of the gods now. I can't leave my woman for the gods now. What, 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 what was the meaning of all these gods? Because is it the god that's going to enjoy this? this Robert! I love you. Good afternoon, respected elders of our land. Good afternoon, young man. Chief Bono, I am actually on my way to your house. Is there any problem? Chief Obrika asked me to inform you and the Chioglu that he will be having a meeting with you in his house later this evening. Mm. That's okay. Tell him we'll be there. Hmm? I will send him your response. Okay. Thank you. Hold on. Do you have any idea why he wants to see us. He didn't tell me. Thank you. That's all right. Thank Just you. tell him we'll be there. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Can you figure out why he wants to see us? No. I'm thinking it's because of the way, I mean, our moves. Maybe he's becoming suspicious of that. Don't Maybe. let us just conclude yet until we see him. Chief Obideke. He's a man of many sides. Before going there to engage him one on one, I think it is very proper we rob minds to avoid being thrown off balance when we get there. You have a point there. <laughs> Let us go to my house to strategize. Exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> Nobody can question how to conquer. Okwakwa Banti Monora. Someone chosen by the gods. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No, why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, embrace the truth, embrace the truth. The gods have spoken. Am I sure I'm doing the right thing? What if this didn't work? How am I going to reconnect with Robert? This is becoming complex. I just have to be precise before I make the mistake of my life. The man in question just said he's not going to take in a second wife. What do I do? What? So why did you request to see me? I am sure you are aware that Chukuka has declined the offer to become king. Yes, I'm aware. Good. I need you to support me to become king. I thought you have something important to say. Is this why you're here? <laughs> My guy, calm down. I mean, think of the benefits. Think of what you stand to gain if me, your guy, becomes the king. The gods have chosen to walk out. And they will not let him walk away from it. Well, obviously, you didn't understand what I said earlier. I heard you clearly. About me. But I'll also tell you that the gods will not allow him to walk away from what they place on his shoulders. Odilibe, will you ever support me for once? Come on, I'm your friend. And I expect you to give me all the support I want. If you're on the right path, why wouldn't I support you? Come on, why are you trying to make it look like I'm the bad person here? I mean, the gods chose Chukuka, yes. 
and he declined. And here I am, soliciting for your support. I mean, offering myself for the service of the throne. Abongwe, the gods did not choose you. And they will never choose you. I will advise you once again as my good friend to perish the thoughts of becoming the king. It will not happen. Not when Chukuka is still alive. Fine. I will get him out of the way and install myself on the throne. Oh, yes. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. The days that true. The days that true. The gods have spoken. So you have to conquer. Have to conquer. Stop the fighting. Stop Embrace the truth, embrace the truth, choice of the gods. Nobody can question. You have to come call. Okwa kwa banti monoro. Ebo listen to solo na banana. Oko kanti ke. Na no ki feni to be high. Who can question? Do you be? Good afternoon. My name is Robert. Please, uh, I want to clarify something from you. Are you from this village? No, I'm not from this village. Okay, go ahead. Good. Um, there is this girl I want to marry. Okay. She's from this village. Okay. Uh, just today, she told me that she has been called into the service of the girls of this uh, community. Therefore, she is not going to marry me again. Service of the gods? Yes. My dear, we do not practice anything like that in, in this community, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. Are, are you sure about this? I am a daughter of the soil, called daughter Wafo Oihembo. And I know Ezira Kingdom very, very well. We do not practice such thing. I think she's um, hiding something from you, so go back and find out whatever it is she's hiding from you. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, but, uh, wait, who is this girl you're talking about? Her name is Ekema. Her father's name is Ogoro. <laughs> what is it? Do you know her? I don't know her. I don't know her. What kind of lie is this now? Hi! My dear, Ekema left the city just with the sole aim of becoming the queen of this kingdom. That is the truth. No, 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 no. Uh, my Kemma cannot descend that to do. Yeah. I am telling you that she wants to get married to a man who is already married just so she can become the queen of this kingdom. That's all. <laughs> my dear, go and find out for yourself. In fact, tell her I told you. Tell her I'm the one that told you. You know, look what? Here you go, this guy, yo. Can you imagine? Look at him, young man with very good prospects. When there are other beautiful girls out there, why are you going to be there? Hi, Mananda, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No. A lot of people complain that um, the state of the nation is in this area and that um, the present leadership we have is not one that the people voted for. So you have those um, 
sentiments flying around. But I'm of the opinion that even if the the new administration agrees to be selfless, you know, and um, create policies that enables other sectors to grow, I think Nigeria can begin to take shape. Uh-uh. I want one. I want one. I need my brother. I want one. Welcome. Take a You do? Welcome, sir. You, you meet us well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Why, Oman? How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I can see you. I really think you care of you. <laughs> Hope all is good. Yes, all is well. Uh, I just want to have some discussions with you. Oh. Uh, in it. Let me excuse you both. Sit down. One of them, 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 one of I came to ask you, I heard you declined the offer to become king. Yes, I did. Why? Because I do not want to marry a second wife. I cannot deal with the, the troubles that, you know, comes with polygamy. Is that what you want? Yes, I thought long and hard about it and that's what I want. That's that's what we want, you know. And I'm not going back on that decision. Okay. Since you don't want, can you recommend me to be king? I wish I could, but I cannot. Is it? Why? Because kings do not emerge by the recommendation of men in our Ezra. Only the gods can choose when they want to choose a king. Chipoka, I totally understand what you just explained. But you can still recommend me. Only since you don't want it, I want it. We are friends. You know? I mean, you can tell the elders, you know, let's give it to my friend since obviously you're not interested. Uh, but you're asking for the same thing in the different language. You telling me to ask the elders on your behalf is like you asking that I recommend you to the elders. Don't you think so? <laughs> okay. Paraventure. The gods choose me. Are you assuring me of your unalloyed support? I mean, you will stand by me. Abangwe, if the gods choose you to become the king of this kingdom, you do not need any kind of support from anyone. All I can do is pray that you lead us well as king. Gemma, you lied to me. Huh? How do you mean? Ekemma, the gods didn't choose you to serve them. They did. They didn't. In fact, choosing a woman into the service of the gods is not practiced in the kingdom. That was in the past. It's a new tradition. So I was chosen by the gods. So what I, I don't know what you're talking about. I am so disappointed in you. Robert, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. Of course. I am so disappointed in you. Ekema, how could you descend so low to the level of wishing to become a second wife simply because you want to be the queen? Eh? Who told you that? Oh, oh, you think I will not find out? <laughs> eh? After everything I did for you, and you feel this is the only way to pay me back? No, no, no. 
I can explain, baby, please. You are very, very Just useless. Go look at that, my friend. I can explain. You can keep your useless explanation to yourself. Hey. I am please, let, let me let me explain. You are very, very stupid. Come on, come, come on, look at my friend. Please now. No, but baby, please now. Please. I can explain now, please. Just, just you are, you are, a second. Now. Let me explain everything. You are please. very you are very stupid one. Please now. If let you me, don't please. come, 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 come on, leave here, my friend. Please, no. If you don't no. leave here, I'm, 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 I'm going to jump you now. Say, baby, please now. Baby, please, let me explain, please. Baby, wait. Hmm. <laughs> what did he come here to do? Uh, you know, you would not believe that that man came here to beg me. <laughs> uh, he wants me to recommend him to the elders as the next king of this kingdom. And what did you say to him? I told him that kings of Ezra do not emerge by recommendation. Oh, goodness. If I knew that that was what he came here to do, I would have given him the embarrassment of his uh, life. That would have What's been that? necessary. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about desperation. Uncle, good afternoon. Yes. Um, this young man here to see you. Oh, okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. How are you? Uh, all right, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Chief Obidike requests you come to his house in the evening later for a meeting. Today? Yes, today. That's fine. Uh, let him know that I'll be there. He will get your response. Thank you. Thank you. So, Ine, Ine, yes, baby. you mean he actually <laughs> came here to say that? Everyone wants to be king. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Fighting so unchosen by the gods. Why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation, Lord? Why are you fighting so unchosen by the gods? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. The gods have spoken. So have to conquer, have to conquer. Stop the fight, stop the fight, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. Choice of the gods, nobody can question. Have to conquer. On what we're born to know, we will listen to Solomon Abanan. On what we're born to know, we will listen to Solomon You look unhappy. Papa, how can I be happy? A lot is going on in my mind right now. Mm. Yes. And what is that? <sighs> Chupuka said he's no longer interested in being the king. But well, you know, if that happens, I will be the loser. He must be joking. He must be joking. The young man I saw doesn't look like someone who is joking. Yes. I mean, he spoke from the depth of his heart. My daughter, Shukuka has been chosen by the gods. He must rule over his people with you as the queen of his kingdom. Papa, are you sure? Oh, very sure. If I am not sure, I wouldn't be saying it. So relax your mind. What's the problem? Now stop fooling yourself because my husband will definitely become king. Oh, really? Yes. Will you classless woman from Uyo wake up from your dream and stop dreaming? I am not dreaming. I have seen it and it must happen. It must happen in Uyo, not in my kingdom. 
Why are you so desperate to become king? Fine. I will lecture you. For so long, for quite a long time, my people have been deluded of good leadership and quality leadership. And I am the right person that will give them what they deserve. That is why I want to be the king. <laughs> the gods chose my husband, not you. The earlier you understand and appreciate that, the better. Your husband knows that he will never be king. That is why he denounced the pronouncement of the gods. Even if my husband doesn't become king, you will never be king. Really? Okay, let's play this way. What is it you value so much in your life? Stake it and watch yourself lose it for the rest of your life. A gambler will always talk like a gambler. Okay. I will not stoop to your level and bet anything with you. But be guided. No, I should be punishing myself. How did I even get this classless discussion with this, this classless food? I should be punishing myself for having this classless discussion. Come on. I bet. I didn't listen to you. Really, she's even bastardizing my name. I welcome you all once again to this very important meeting. I would have called for this meeting a long time ago. But I decided to wait so that all of us, all the people who are doing all the things they were doing. I wanted them to explore all their alternatives and all their options. Now, I have brought us here because I believe the time has come for us to discuss like brothers. She will be the game. Honestly, you have not said anything. Of course, we all know we are brothers. There is no point gathering us just to remind us about our brotherhood. Well, I, I call this meeting because I want us to discuss the ritual of Okukun this year. Oh, oh, oh. The same thing you all have been hiding from me. <laughs> so why are we discussing it right now? She has a carbon, the wife of Abangwe. I'm going to ignore you. Because we are here for a serious business. The ritual of Okukundi here is an important ritual in this kingdom. A apart from the segment that says that every male child born into every family must be presented to that Okuku, there is the second option, the second segment that has got to do with a woman that is married into this kingdom from another kingdom or from another tribe, that she equally can be presented by her husband to Dasemo Kuku, where she will be required to make some pronouncements and go into some oath. When that happens, all the rights and the privileges of the daughters of this land, all of them, must be acquitted on that woman. Uh, 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 how come I have not heard about this before? Uh, I'm hearing now. Uh, well, you are hearing them now because uh, that is always uh, the first time. That's why you are... <laughs> because there's always the first time. Apart from all other things that she's going to say, she's going to pick the sacred sand of Ezra and make very specific pronouncements. She's going to say that if war will break between our people and her people, that she is going to fight against her people on behalf of our people. She is going to enter an oath and say that she will never ever divulge any secret of this kingdom to any other kingdom. If any woman married by any son of this land into this kingdom will enter into this oath, she automatically becomes a daughter of the soil. You know, our ancestors had a reason to create this because they never wanted to limit our sons. They knew that any of our sons can actually travel to other kingdoms and there, there is the chance that he will fall in love. And when it happens, 
and he falls in love, any woman he marries uh, will be able to take this oath and uh, the woman will become a complete daughter of the soil. No, I don't want to say anything about it. Chief Obidike, what exactly are you saying? Conspiracy. Who what is the relevance of this unsolicited education? What well, what I am... And why is it coming now? Well, no, no, no. What I'm trying to let us understand is that Chukwuka here has no reason whatsoever to take a second wife because he has a wife already. Hmm? All he has to do is to present that wife of his before the Okukun this year. If she will take the oath laid down by our ancestors, she becomes a daughter of the soil. Just as simple as that. You lie, Chief. You are making this up. Yes, he's obviously making this up, Obi. Mm -hmm. This is an attempt to take what rightfully belongs to the women of this kingdom. Sia Zakam, you have to be very watchful of the things you say. Don't say anything that will make the girls angry. You are not going to like how it will end. Uh, thank you very much, my elders. I must say that um, uh, this meeting has been quite insightful. And I would like to add that I'll be happy to bring my wife so that um, um, the sacrifice uh, can be carried out and then she can take the oath. Never. Never. It will not happen. Never. She can't take what belongs to us. Yes, I can be very careful. Hmm. <laughs> no one can stop me. I am just the chosen queen of the Zira Kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am no one can stop me. I am. Don't believe in all the nonsenses, Shifobitike said. But that is the truth. Mm -hmm. I never thought of the Okuku Indi Iche in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. So are you now saying that we should fold our arms and watch a strange woman, somebody from a different land entirely, to become the queen of our kingdom? At this point, yeah. there is little or nothing that we can do, except you have another plan. My head is full right now. But I will surely think of something out and get back to you. It's all right. I shall be waiting. Oh, thank you very much. I am very grateful to you for always being there with me. Definitely, once my daughter becomes the queen of Ezira Kingdom, I will recommend you for the position of Olu. I know what you are capable of doing. No problem. We are in this all together. <laughs> My gratitude once again. She's the chosen queen of the Zira Kingdom. I am chosen by. See, sister, if you ask me, I would say you should stop discouraging your husband. It is possible this is your destiny. So just allow things play out on its own. You think so? Sister, I feel so. Just allow things to out on his own, okay? My love. Good afternoon. Why are you this excited? Because we have finally come to a place where we can say, yes, we made it. I don't understand. I am going to be king of Ezra Kingdom. And you, my darling wife, will be my queen. But I thought your tradition forbids a woman who is not of this tribe from becoming queen in your kingdom. There is also a clause in that tradition that allows a daughter from another town to become a daughter of the soil and enjoy all the privileges that a daughter of the soil should enjoy provided that certain rights are carried out, which I know will not be a problem for you. Who told you this? Chief Obidike. 
Uh, uncle, if that is true, then we should celebrate. Yeah, get a drink. Atos. Mm -hmm. Ah, baby. <sighs> Our time has come. I told you that I am going to be the king of this kingdom and you, my beautiful wife. Will be my queen. I love you, this woman. Our dreams are coming true. I love you too, so much. I would stand by you until I leave this earth. Thank you. I'll be your shield. I'll guide. God and protect you. In him, you are my life. I love you. Thank you. Congratulations to us. Listen, Abong, you see, your biggest setback in life is that you cannot kill a man like me. The earlier you understand that, the better for you. Whatever you are planning will not work. Then for the records, I'm telling you that I'm not planning anything. If you feel that what I said is not right, you are free to go to the chief priest and he will say the same thing to you. I don't have that time. Now listen to me. Go back to Chukuka and make him understand that he can never be king. That I, Abangwe, I am the chosen one. You know eh? The main fact that I do not flare up when provoked should not be a reason people like you should be undermining my personality. Be very careful what you say before me before you speak yourself into trouble. You think I'm joking with you? No, no, no. You think I am joking with you? Now read my lips. You have only today, 24 hours, to go back to Chukuka and tell him that I am the chosen one. I'll be watching you. You're going well. You're going well. Dear man. DNA will never solve the problem. Open a memo DNA. It will be very clear that the okay carbon of blessed memory. Abraham Mumwa. Abonyala. Can I be found? Sister. Me. Edikan. Victory at last. Victory at last. <laughs> Victory yes. at last. Hmm? Sister, say I, I can't wait to see you become the queen of this great kingdom. She will look so regal. <laughs> uh? I never knew this would become a reality. Uh, what is it, you know? Sister, why now? I'll get it. Stop this now. This is a thing of joy. <laughs> it's okay. Let it out. Let it out. Like that, I know. I know. I know it was quite a battle, but um We will not allow that. We are not Charles, come. You, your husband, and your cohorts are all fighting a lost battle. You need to understand it. The gods have chosen, and you all must respect it. Never. Oh, oh, wait. You think we do not know that you bribed your way through? Oh, huh? Yes. Doling out money to Chief Obidike to make him say things that he is not even sure of. Now you are beginning to speak the abominable. She has come. Get out of my house. Right now. <laughs> yes. I'll say, I'll say yes. I'll say Don't worry. We will leave. But let it be registered that this thing will never be queen. Yes. We will fight. Yes. We will resist her with everything that we have. Yes. yes. Now listen, 
If I were you, I will leave this village. A-S-A-P. Because you cannot even contend with what it's coming. Yes. You can rant all you want. You can spit fire all you want. But threatening my wife, I will not take. Chazokam, I have had just about enough of your nonsense. Get out of my house right oh, now. Oh, God, please. Uh, save your Gragra for somebody else. She has our message, and that is the most important thing. Yes. We have our eyes on you. Let's go. Inan, please. 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 Papa, it is time to face reality right now. I mean, it is game over for me. What's all this now? If my head is still on my neck and I have my brain in my head, I still remember that the last time we discussed about this, I told you I will handle it. Of course you said so. God. But my question to you right now, Papa, is have you been able to take care of the situation? Huh? <laughs> I am on top of the situation. And let me tell you, Shukuka will come back to you, begging you to marry him. Papa, hmm? you're giving me false hope, and I don't like it. Papa, I do not like it, though. And what you are saying is equally what I don't like. Just listen to yourself. It appears you don't know what your father, Ogoro, I, Ogoro, is capable of. Of course. I know what my father is capable of doing. God. But right now, it's as if this particular one is... It's, it's slipping off your hands so rapidly. So what do we do? Mm. Yes. <laughs> this is Ogoro. Mm? I speak positive language, not probability. I just use language of probability. If. I'm sure it is going to work and that is what I have told you. And I repeated that it is going to work. So there's nothing like if. Then I ask you again. What if at the end of the day it didn't work? And I'm asking you again. <laughs> My daughter, and I repeat, there's no doubt. Nothing like if it is going to work. So relax your mind. My darling, so the process that would make you eligible to become queen after my coronation as king. It's called Yokoko and Ichie. Okay, so what does that entail? I am going to take you to the chief priest where you're going to swear an oath that um, that you now fully belong to the people of Ezira Kingdom. But I already belong to Ezira Kingdom by marriage. Yes, we know, but they want to know where your loyalty lies. My loyalty lies first with my husband, secondly to his people, and thirdly to the people of Ezira Kingdom. Body, spirit, soul to soul. Mm -hmm. I believe you, and I know. But you see, these words are words that the elders want to hear you speak. That would not be a problem, my darling husband. You just know how to make me proud of you. Mm -hmm. And I am going to cherish you for the rest of my life. I should be the one saying those words to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for being so cooperative. Thank you for making life fun and beautiful with you. Thank you for making it easy. Thank you for all you do. I love you. 
I love you right back, baby. She's the chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can stop me. I am. She's the chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I am. You already know what to do. And you must grant our request. I wouldn't know what you want if you do not tell me what it is. Just look at me. You don't go do no way. You don't go do no way. You don't go do no way. You don't even look like us. Whoa. You don't smell like us. You know don't it. even talk what am I saying. You Whoa. can't speak our language. Listen. Leave this village. Are you hearing me? Leave this village and never look back. I am married to a son of the soil. I can't leave my husband. Huh? Shut really? up! Just shut up! I believe you heard the message. Because our eyes are on you. Mm -hmm. You have only three days to leave this community. Mm -hmm. Or be prepared to take whatever you see. Nonsense. Enoria, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Listen, no matter what you do, Imerenu, Imerana, Whoa. I must become the queen of a Zira kingdom. <laughs> Let's go. What we know about Okukundichi. The last nail has been put on your ambition of becoming the king of Ezira. I am Abanwe, the son of Oke Kabana of Ezira. No living soul can put a nail on my ambition. Talk less of a fool putting the last nail on my ambition. It will not happen. Chief Obidike was the one who spoke. I hope you remember. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so, as far as I'm concerned, what Obidika has said makes no meaning to me. But he made an important revelation. Which is? No, this is the nonsense he was saying now. Is it not obvious he was paid? Oh, yes, he has collected bribes to talk those nonsense. And I don't believe in them. They don't make any sense to me. About when? Chief Obidike is an honorable man in this community. Mm -hmm which you can attest to, mm -hmm. you know very well. He is exactly what you call incorruptible judge. Absolutely. So I used to believe. So I was thinking, but of late, his character, his behavior, his attitude, prove otherwise. Yes. He has been playing hanky-panky. You know, call us more chill here, talk, talk one nonsense there, talk nothing there, talking from two sides of his mouth. That is not how an honorable person behaves. Why are you always at loggerhead with people who do not say yes to you? There you go wrong. And I'll have to correct you. The land of Ezra has culture and tradition. And that tradition says that no woman who is not of this land can ascend the throne of Ezra kingdom as a queen. It is a tradition. But we had the provision our forefathers made through Okukundiche. You are gradually playing into their political hands. Have you bothered to ask yourself some questions? Why is this Okundichi coming up now? I mean, why is it erupting now? And why is it favoring something that is against our culture and tradition? Okukundichi has been there right from time. So? Yes. It is just that we've not had any event or issue that referred us to it. Now listen, 
let me tell you my stand. And I stand here strongly. I do not believe in that nonsense story he told about the Kukundi, the Uchi, or Kukundi, Allah, rubbish. I don't believe in it. And this throne belongs to me. It is my time. It is my turn. And I'm stopping at nothing until I ascend that room. Abangwe, that's my name. You're headed to the path of destruction. <laughs> and I advise you retrace your step. Unfortunately, I am not retracing my steps. And I'm not headed in any path of destruction. I'm on the right track, following the right thing, observing and respecting the culture and tradition of my land. And I tell you, I will stop at nothing. I mean, nothing will stop me. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation, Lord? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the... Okay, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> good afternoon, my husband. And how are you? Okay, I'm fine, thank you. I'm actually on my way to your house. I hope that is no problem. No, 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 there's no problem. It's just that I'm seeking for clarifications from you. That's all. Clarification. How do you mean? Um, Ichie, I believe you know everything that is happening concerning the queenship of this kingdom. I do. So, what, what do you think? I still don't understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Ichie, what I'm trying to say is, um, do you think I stand a chance of becoming the next queen of this kingdom? To be honest with you, you don't. Um, why did you say so? I said so because the last clarification from Chief Obideke has nailed everything. It has cleared all doubts and the path to the throne is now even clearer. Those who think they will become queen and kings as against the wish of the gods are only doing so at their own peril. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate this wonderful revelation. Thank you. You're welcome. And do take care of yourself. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the trick. What? 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 Did they touch you? In and calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down. Just tell me. Did they touch you? Nem, this is why I did not want to tell you what happened. Please, because I only You're told you. You're upsetting me right now. In and, did they touch you? Did anyone as much as touch you? No, they did not, but they would have if I had talked back at them. Plus, they asked me to leave the kingdom, else they would throw me out. Oh, that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. You belong here. That is unacceptable. Sister, you shouldn't have told him. He is my husband. He deserves to know. You're right, but, but this may just cause further problems. See, I understand exactly what you mean. But it was a direct threat to my life, so I shouldn't overlook it. See, sister, I know Brother Chukuma so well. He might just react differently and then make problems out of this. I'll make sure this ends here. He won't blow it out of proportion. I just hope so. I came now. Eh? Let me go and get water for him to drink. Please do. Okay, just sit up. Mm. Why you find my house like a mad dog? You call me a dog, of course. 
a mad one at that. Shawawe, I am going to show you what a mad dog can do. You are very stupid. You think you can buy your way through? I mean, think I can bribe your way through? Let me tell you, you have failed because I will put you where you belong. Shawawe, I am not a desperate scum like you. I did not bribe my way through. The gods chose me to become king. And there's nothing like that you or your wife can do about it. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. If you ever make any silly mistake of coming anywhere close to my wife, I will make it clear to you that nobody has monopoly of violence in the I am going I to am make it clear to your wife. Touch her! You cannot She has not come. Stay away from my wife. You can't do anything! What do you think you are? To barge into the house of an Odogu like this? Oh, yeah, to spew nonsense! Tell your wife that she must leave this village. What am I to say? In fact, she needs to run with her two legs Hitting her head. Never. Rubbish. We didn't come on. Not a long keta. No, no, no. We leave this village. Yes. 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 Why would he ask me to give him water? And he leaves. See, sister, I am seriously praying this has not escalated. Ha! Huh. Chukuka, why is Chukuka doing this? I am ready to accept the second wife. I have already prepared my mind that this is my fate. Eh? You should just understand my position and stop. Sister, he believes he can pull it through. Please, can we just decide here and now to kill our faithlessness and agree to do this too? Our faithlessness? Yes. What do you mean by that? Tell these people, tell them I will take anything but not, not them insulting my wife. Threatening my wife, I will not take it. Or the me, tell them. Honestly, you are not making sense. I'm not making sense. As the chosen king, you should not be exhibiting such level of anger on your people. I don't care! What do you mean? Wear my shoes before you judge me. Can you please? Tell Shiawanwe. Tell Shiawanwe. That he's biting more than he can chew. Tell him and his wife to stay away from my wife. They can insult me. It's okay, I can take it. But no one should threaten or insult my wife because she's not from this place. I don't like it. I don't like it. Everyone cannot come from Ezira. Tell those small-minded idiots to stay away from my wife. Can, can you please calm down and tell me what happened? She has not come and her co-travelers besieged my wife and told her to leave this town, else they would have no other option than to fuss her out. Can you imagine that? What gives them the right to talk to her like that? What rights do they have to issue such warning? What? Tell me. In, in, in all honesty, they are totally wrong. They don't have the right, they don't have the power. These people are driving me crazy. No, but that shouldn't put you in this condition. These people are driving me crazy. Or do you talk to them? They are driving me crazy. No one should blame me. No one should blame me if I act out of character. They are driving me crazy. It's okay, Chukwoka. Just go home, shower, and catch some sleep. Trust me, I, I, I'm going to speak to them. Speak to them and tell them that if they continue this way, I am going to treat them like one of from the same place. Calm down. Just calm down. <sighs> We are having a project in our hands. Eh? A project that is ongoing and I have promised you severally that it must come to reality. Papa, there is no need for us to be deceiving ourselves. 
the gods has made their choice. And there's nothing you or I can do about it. Nobody can change it. Yes, it is true that the gods have made a choice. But it is restricted to the king. It is in our hands to choose the queen. Papa, why is, it, why is it so difficult for you to understand that I am done with all of this? I mean, it is game over for me. Oh, why are you sounding like this, my daughter? I'm doing something on it which must favor you at the end of the day. I'm sorry, Papa. I am no longer interested in being the queen. Hmm. After the revelation of Mr. Bidiki, your ancestors has provided for women married outside this kingdom to be the queen. So, Papa, let me just go. I am no longer interested. Oh, come on. Why do you get swayed by a deadly politician? He only made it up for you to lose hope. I am disappointed that you played into his hands. Papa. Yes? I think we are done talking about this. Right now, I am leaving for the city. And don't try pressing it because I cannot change my mind. Yes. There must be a way out. I went to one Jaff, Jaff Sakam, to take her eyes off you. I told her to take her eyes off you. Listen, they can insult me all they want, okay? But any kind of insult on my wife will not be tolerated. I, I, I told them. I told, I made it very clear. But I am not complaining about their insults. You know, you don't have to complain for me to know that these women are pushing you to the wall. I have my ears to the ground. I can see things for myself. No woman married into a zero should be made uncomfortable by anyone at all. But and when the woman in question becomes my wife, I will not take it. It will not happen ever again. Sister. Sister, stop. You don't need to tell him anything. He's doing all of this because of you. And I am not okay with it. They may conspire and kill him. See, I am not insisting on being the queen. All I want is just to have my husband in one piece. Is that too much to ask? If it is the design of the gods that you will become the queen, their resistance cannot stop that from happening. Sister, I have fun. Just put yourself together, okay? Dara, step in there and stand upon the Enzo. The oath you are about to take will either marry you or make you. It will marry you if you go back on the promises. And it will make you if you keep to the agreement. Great one, it has already been explained to me and I understand it perfectly well. Good. You are standing barefooted on the land of Ezira Kingdom, about to enter into an boat with Tajani, the mother earth. The ancient sacred land of Ezira Kingdom, the Ajani itself. Repeat after me. With my life, I will become part and parcel of a zero land. With my life, 
I will become part and parcel of Ezra land. I will stand by Ezra. I will stand by Ezra. In bad and good conditions. In bad and good conditions. I will defend Ezra with all that I have. I will defend Ezra with all that I have. If war breaks out between my kingdom and Ezra. If war breaks out between my kingdom and Ezra. I will rise and pick arms. I will rise and pick arms. To defend Ezra. To defend Ezra. Because Ezra is my home all the days of my life. Because Ezra is my home all the days of my life. On no condition. On no account. On no condition. On no account. Will I ever give information? Will I ever give information? That will be detrimental to Ezra. That will be detrimental to Ezra. Any day I do so. Any day I do so. May that day be my last day on this earth. May that day be my last day on this earth. Congratulations for you and now daughter of Ezra Soy. Every right benefits according to the daughter of the soil, Ezra Soil, are now yours. She is the chosen queen of Ezra Kingdom. I am Let's go down to business. I have a job for you. If you deliver perfectly, I'll pay you 100,000 naira. Tell me what you want me to do for you. My boys and I will deliver. You will go to Chubuka's house. When you get there, go straight to his wardrobe. You will see the wand of Anunwebe. Bring it to me. Is that all? Absolutely. Consider it done. I'll be waiting. Is your guru? Are you in Bono? Having settled all controversies, I am thinking that the ideal thing for us to do now is to proceed with the coronation. Oh yes. So, when do you think will be better? We are going to stick to the original plan. Coronate him the king of Israel kingdom on a Kuku market day. So that his wife who will become queen that same day will proceed to the sacred place to pray for the woman of Israel that same day. The current queen has to be informed. She has to give her consent before this new queen can step into the sacred arena. Well, uh, she and Bono, I can tell you that we don't need her approval for anything. Oh yes, what we need is to brief her on what is being planned. And I volunteer to go to her and tell her that this is what we have planned. 
That's it. What be the key? As we have started resolving the controversies, let us resolve it finally, totally. Because that woman is the one who has been doing this. So, uh, uh, is there a problem? What, what is the issue? Uh, the problem is not much. We have secured the consent of the chief priest. We equally need to get the consent of the current queen. That is not a problem. I, I can approach her. Uh, she has always been a very nice and supportive woman, so I, I can go to her personally and, you know, intimate her on her plans. Well, I told them already that we don't need her consent to proceed with this. What we need is to brief her on what we are doing. And I have already volunteered that I will go to her, brief her on what we are planning. I said that already. Can we concentrate on this coronation and stop overheating this kingdom unnecessarily? Can we do that, man, please? One more word from you, and I'll cut off! Oh! Sorry, sir. Sir, sir, sorry. Take us to your lost bedroom now! Where is that? Where? It's this way, sir. This way. One name. You know you're my very good friend. Mm. Eh? What is it? That is why I brought you here, so that nobody will hear us. I want Idara out of the way, so that I can stand a better chance of becoming the next queen. Hi! Do a boon your dog. Your panicky, Makantonto, Idara. Take care of her now. Hey. It's very simple. But I need a strong Dibia. Eh? A strong Dibia who can help me. Me, Watagunu, Haji, something. Are you sure you need you need a Dibia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I will help you. I have a strong Dibia. Yeah. And if you don't mind, I can direct you to his place. Hey. Are you sure his charms are very good? He has been the one taking care of my spiritual work now. Is you good? Please. Is this you? Thank you for at least coming finally. Can you please go inside and talk, please? Say whatever you want to say here. I have a limited time, and you know about it. It's okay. Um, Robert, believe me, so many things were involved in this. I was overwhelmed. If you had to be in my shoes, you would have done the same thing. I am sorry. I promise you it will not happen again, believe me. For sure, it will not happen again. And that is why I have ended the relationship. Yes. Robert, please, don't, you can't do this to me, please. Uh, don't touch me. Robert, please, you cannot do this to me. I am sorry. I, see, I've learned my lessons and I'm ready to make amends. You are back to the city saying all this because you are planning on getting married to your so-called choosing king. They didn't work out. Had it been it worked out the way you planned, would you have been here begging? Robert, can we forget about all this? It's in the past now. You know I love you. We've come a long way. You can't do this to me right now. Please. Sorry. Ekema, you kill it all. When you started considering the offer to marry the king, you stopped taking my course, remember? Ekema, you lied to me that your phone was bad, simply to justify your action. Uh, anyways, uh, I decided to give you this message directly, so we don't have a reason to be going back and forth. 
It is over between both of us. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. Please. Don't touch me. Robert, I please. said you should not touch me, remember? Robert, please. Robert. Say back for now. Leave this car now. Robert, please don't do Robert. Oh God, what am I letting myself into? Robert. Don't don't call my number again. Robert, please. If Robert were to be your brother, will you encourage him to continue marriage plans with a woman who could do the things she did? Where is this coming from? Come on, Ikema, stop pretending as if you don't know what I am talking about. Babes, you messed up big time. And you know you can't win Robert back. Jessica, see. Please, can you help me talk to Robert? I know he listens to you. Please, just help me talk to him. Too late, babes. Yeah. Because Robert is getting married to Oluchi this Saturday. What? Yeah. I am pretty sure he blocked you. That is why you didn't see their engagement update. Here is it. Good! Babes, <sighs> you frustrated this dude. You pushed him to the wall. So he had no choice than to move on with Oluchi just to be happy. I understand. But you can still me talk to him. Please. A date is fixed already. Uh, you just said it. <sighs> Come on, babes. Let's go inside. It's fine. And then they, they searched everywhere. <laughs> the one? They must be the one of Anunwebe. What, what do they want to do with it? I don't it? know. But what? Oh, sister. Sister. Did, did, did they touch you? Sister, they did not touch me, but they scared the living daylight oh. out of me. Oh, Thank you. It's okay. Spoken, yes, I have to conquer. Have to conquer. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. Choice of the I sent you boys to go and get me the wand of Hanunwebe that was given to that fool in error, and you're here telling me crap. We searched everywhere in the wardrobe, in fact, everywhere in that room, we couldn't find your neighbor. We even went further and searched other rooms. We didn't find the wand of Anunebe. You did not search well. That stuff is not in that house. I put it to you that that stuff is in that house. I can swear on anything. Okay. Do you have another place in mind where we can go search for the stuff? Search no more. There's no point searching further. Do you want to throw away your ambition of becoming king away like that? Men like me do not give up very easily. In fact, we don't give up at all. Then what is the next option? Kill him. Kill him? Is that what you really want? Do I look like I have water in my mouth? Consider it done. Fine. As a matter of fact, he will be a dead man this night. Exactly what I want to hear. And now listen. You have to do a neat job. I don't want traces. 
If you fail me this time, if you fail with my lips, your lives will go in for it. If you recall what the men of Ezira did to your husband, you will agree with me that you don't owe them anything. Even the gods were angry that they did not give us a king for 16 solid years. But finally a king has been named. And from what I gathered, the wand of Anunebe has been handed over to the chosen king. Oh, will that not make you to allow that strange woman from you to be your successor? Oh no. You have practically lived all your life for Ezira Kingdom. It is time for you to make a demand. And if I may ask, what demand? Don't give your approval for her installation. My approval is not even needed for her installation. Just issue a statement that the queen must be a full-blooded daughter of Ezira Kingdom. I leave the rest to me, Shifuguro. I want you to make blind and afterwards kill her. Who is this person? Her name is Idara, the wife of Chukuka. And what is her offense? She's standing in the way of my progress. She wants to take what rightfully belongs to me. I won't let that happen. You want her to go blind or you want her dead? Which one? Both. I want her to go blind now. Then afterwards, you kill her. Blindness. But when human life is involved, the repercussion will be very, very heavy. I am aware and I don't care. Very well then. Tell me what you want, how you want it, and I will do it just like that. 
in the middle of the night. Take that charm to a place where no eyes will be able to see you. Open it and say exactly what you want. Blow it into the air. And whatever you want, I mean, the rest will be history. Just like that. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. You don't know what you've done for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. How much will I pay you for, for your services? That charm will do exactly what you want. But you will allow me gain access into your honey pot. I don't understand. It means what you know already. It will happen here and now. And no one will hear about it. Honey? Yes? Who do you think sends the peanuts? A okay, question is that as if you don't know. Because it's about one. Exactly what I thought. But why is he doing all this? Why are you asking questions that you have the answers to? The reason is not far fetched. He wants to be king. That's why. Why is this so impossible? Huh? The gods have already chosen who they want. Uh -huh. You should just give it up already. But that is what a wise man would do. Give it up, but not that one. He would not give it up. If he's not careful, he'll end up incurring the anger of the gods on himself. Uh huh. When foolish men refuse to stop, eventually forces stronger than them will stop them. Are you planning something? Like what? Like making Abba more important. But baby, please, play game, I beg. What's that? One way is not important. The only thing I'm planning right now is to ensure that I get everything ready for the coronation. But you know we need to handle him first before stepping out. Why? Why are you trying to make that man important? Abba, we cannot do nothing. Let's stop talking about a man whose time is over and has refused to accept it. Play it's your hand. I want to whoop you today, though. You wish. So, you see, you see what you've done? <laughs> you see what you've done? Go ahead. <laughs> Should I understand this to mean that you don't trust me? I'm okay, Maka. Huh? I am processing a lot of things on my head right now. Okay. My mood has nothing to do with lack of trust. <laughs> See, the more you hide it, the more clear it gets. Honestly, you are hiding something. Just tell me, what is it? Something drastic is about to happen. Something heavy that those who hear about it in the morning will marvel. Mama Ekedna. You're sounding weird. What will happen? If you're not going to talk to me now, 
I'm going to leave you here and go home. Our mom has decided to go all out. You said? He will solve the problem tomorrow. And Idara and her husband will no longer be a threat to us. I'm curious. How has he decided to solve the problem? Why are you not talking? I blow this into the air. I want you to locate a Dara wherever she is and make her blind tonight. And after that, kill her.
Where did she go? I left her in the room before coming out. Chi Chi! Chi! Can you hear me? Sounding as if there is a problem. Mm. We need to end it all. Honestly. Because this is not political as well thinking. The gods and the ancestors of this land are involved in it. Ha. Ah, how can you say that? Wait. If you have become this weak, it therefore means that Idara will succeed in her quest to become queen. Hmm. Do you remember what I told you last night? Uh, that, have um, you forgotten? Yes, that Agbanwe and his wife has decided to go all out. It has backfired! You oh. don't mean it. How do oh. you mean? Our late king, Ezudu, is fully involved from the land of the dead now. Y you are confusing me the more. Okay. Wait, how did anyone see Ezudu? <laughs> My dear, the people that were sent by Agbanwe to kill Chukuka and his wife we have found this morning sleeping in Chukuka's parlor. Fia, yeah. uh, has he got to the point of killing? Why were they sleeping? Hmm. My dear, they confessed that it was the king that knocked them out. And it was confirmed that that man happens to be as they would do. Ne, we must end it here. Huh. Except we want to face untimely death. Yekwim, I don't want to die. I, I still love my life like this. Apobamo, this is serious. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Stay there now. Abamo. Hmm? For 20 minutes now, we've been roaming inside this bush without result. I doubt she's inside this bush. I have a feeling she's inside this bush. I don't know why I'm feeling like that, but... So, what, what do you want us to do? Let's keep searching. Uh, mm, let's search more, yes. Let's no keep problem. searching. I can't see a bar no more, no. Hey! Hey! Can anybody hear me? Hey! Obim, Obim, is that you? Obim, 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 Obim,
Abim, 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 Chazo, 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 I'm on where? Why did you bring me here? We are, we are almost succeeding. We are not succeeding at anything. Rather, we are just we are trying to destroy the same kingdom we claim to love. We have to stop it. Ubano. Have you joined them completely? Or why are you sounding this way? He will be crowned king tomorrow. There is nothing we can do about it. We have to put an end to this. I have no problem with that. He is the chosen of the boss and I have given up on that. Same with the wife. She will be crowned queen tomorrow. There is nothing we can do about it. Who says? My daughter has lost the man in the city. Shukuka has no option than to marry my daughter to become the next queen of this land. Chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. No one can stop it. I am. She's the chosen queen I of Ezira kingdom. I am. Chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop it. I am. Oh, I, I am. Oh, oh, oh. I am. The beautiful Indara. The love of my life. The one who means the world to me. The one who shall be crowned. Queen of Ezra Kingdom. Today indeed is your day. Amen. Yes, baby. I am happy. Very happy. But at the same time, I am emotional too. Why should you be? You should be happy. For the gods came through for you in spite of the plottings and machinations of the people that did not support you to become queen of this kingdom. You came out vindicated. You have so many things to be grateful for. It's your day to laugh. You have the last laugh now. And that's always the best laugh. Amen. People of this kingdom lost their lives. They're gone, never to return. You know, it's really terrible that people of Ezra kingdom had to pay with their blood. My wife, my life, I want you to know that those who are not here today to witness this great occasion were never destined to be here. They got what they wanted. The world is waiting for you, my darling, at the Obi of Kings, to witness what would be a great coronation. Chosen by the gods, I am. No one can stop me. I am. Queen.